Okay, audio check. Quick check. Okay, one more check.
Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. So, I was thinking about it, and the other day, I literally posted a TikTok saying, Ooh, I'm never late to stream. Or, ooh, I don't skip stream. Consistency is so important. And then I skipped stream yesterday, Lamo. Um, oopsie. Like, we did the bonus stream on Sunday, which we have to talk about, because something did happen that we need to address. Um, but yesterday, I just had a fuck ton of work that I had to get figured out, so... I also needed an extra rest day, but... He saw that TikTok? Good. You guys should all follow my TikTok. Okay. So, before we get started with Mario Kart, there's something I need to address, okay? So, as you guys know, we had the Mega Esports Emma Crossing event on Sunday. I think it went pretty good. I think we had max, like, four people actually fishing, but... The biggest issue we had was that when everybody got kicked from the island, there was a server issue. So, a, ha a good handful of people lost like half the inventory that they got, including their prizes, if they did win. So, Meg Esports was able to pull some strings, you know, they did a little work on the side. <laughs> and Meg Esports is willing to give chat five subs. So, you know what? Gotta pay up. Meg Esports. Oops, I gotta put the amount that I need to give. Okay. So, Meg Esports is very generous, and they've gifted five subs to the chat room. Let's see who got them. And uh, we had Claire. I don't know any other chatters. I miss Berlickers. Okay, so Meg Esports paid up. We're addressing the controversy. We are handling it. So once again, sorry to everybody who lost. I know some people lost, like, gold ore. I know some people lost, like, the rare fish that they caught. So once again, we apologize. Hopefully, this will make it better. This <laughs> okay. Um, also, we had our exclusive Meg Esports fan for the month of August, so chatters, um, this is posted on my Twitter, X Commission Twitter and chat. So you can download the, um, item code here, it's posted on my Twitter if you can't see it on the screen, or you can film screen, screenshot now. Um, every month we're gonna have an exclusive either fan, shirt, or cap. Let's look forward to next month, guys. Um... <laughs> this is why Meg Esports needs sponsors. Yeah, because we're just fucking up all the time. Um, yeah, the last thing I want to say about it, we did have a- I think two stream snipers on Sunday, so chatters. I think we handled it well, but if you see anybody like fucking around, just ignore them. There's a reason why we don't do like drawful or playing with viewers all the time. Um, so, like I said, if you see anybody fucking around, just ignore them, don't give them attention, don't add them in chat, they just want attention. Um, I think that's all I want to talk about. Otherwise, it was a really good stream, it was really fun. Um, I hope everybody who actually had a good time. Okay. So, I think that's all that needs to be addressed. <laughs> they simply don't exist yet. Stream snipers who megalol? Okay. So let's go ahead and get our sub goal up for today. It is partially inflated because Meg Esports gifted five. Right now we're at 107, so let's put the goal at 110 for now. There we go. So goal for today is 110, guys. 110. Okay, we can go to get started. I feel bad for skipping yesterday, but honestly, you know, I needed a I needed an extra rest day because, like, honestly, Sunday fucking pissed me off because. Hi, Jake. You're welcome in, hon. Oh, anybody want to choose my character? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody want to choose my character? Um, one thing that I'm kind of concerned about, like, I do have every single measure in place to prevent, like, either snipers for the most part or raids. Like, that's the reason why we have follower mode chat on for 10 minutes, and that's why we have limited channel for redemptions because we don't want people's names to be on screen right um but i'm still concerned about what potential harassment i might face so okay nobody picked i'm doing peach fuck you guys um i just have to make sure i have as many what do you say Pro protocols procedures <laughs> in place to avoid shit happening but i think sunday went as well as it could have anyway enough Dwelling on that, Chatters, let's get our first prediction up for the day. Do you think 
I will get the first place. Go Gamba, go Gamba. I'm also so sunburnt. <laughs> like, I've been trying to bike every day. And just my arms are so brown. <laughs> like, I don't I like being tan. But it's, like, weird because, like, my underarms... You can't... I'll show it on cam later. But, like, this side is, like, white and then brown. <laughs> it's so funny to me. Oh, this is 200 CC, isn't it? I was playing a few rounds of practice earlier with online. Because I haven't played Mario Kart for now. A week and two days! Oh, you're starting to give your chat room subs too nice. Nice. See, I think it's a really fun incentive. How did I fall off to eighth? What happened? Cause like in my head, I think gifting subs is fun to where like chat gets to enjoy it too. Cause like I'm never gonna do an incentive to where I'm like causing myself stress or pain. I I think those are a bit too gimmicky for me. I think the close ooh, that was lucky. The closest I've done to that was when we did the um the Slurpy stream where I basically gave myself a brain freeze like every 10 seconds and it was horrible. No! Oh, okay. Come on, I'm so close! Buzz off? Okay, easy. No way I don't get freaking first in my first game, right? Oh, earlier? Because I, I think I did like three games of online before stream started and. I got so freaking close to first place. Like, I got robbed on the last lap, and I was so mad. I was gonna, like, screen cap it. I was like, nah. I don't need to. Okay, new prediction is up. Go Gamba. Do you think I would get first place on this race? Chatters, go Gamba. Oh, that line was pretty solid. It's usually that first one that trips me up. Fuck! <laughs> I'm mashing the button so hard. <laughs> My god, I need to gum down. on my driver's license so you know how they had an issue oh my god that fucking oh no what up is so fucking stupid anyway so i i was last week i was unable to like reschedule my knowledge like multiple choice tests online because she's like oh there's an issue with your license number you have to come in person and, and like actually schedule i was like okay that's fucking fine but the driving school is like a mile away when it used to be like literally a block away from me so i was like break it god damn it so, oh! I didn't realize I was in third. Anyway, so like, I had to bike an extra mile. No, it had to be like an extra like two miles a day, because like at that point, I've already did like my daily three mile bike run. So I was like dead tired by the time I got to the driving school. And like, I felt so bad, because I probably like stank, because I had just finished my bike ride, right? I felt so bad. <laughs> um. So, like, I have my written test scheduled for next week, so hopefully I'll have my learner's permit by next week, and then I can actually start driving, because that'd be pretty cool. Like, I need I need to have that sense of independence. Because, like, my dad, he said he'll be able to find me, like, a used car for a few thousand, including, like, repairs and parts, because, you know, he fixes cars for fun. Hey, Chatters, go Gamba, go Gamba. So, my goal is get my license by September, or during September, and then, like, actually being able to drive in the beginning of, of October. The only thing I'm kind of scared about is that, like, our family cars is 
huge SUV. Like, it's ginormous. And I'm so scared to practice driving in it. But, you know, I'm gonna have to do it. Okay, that was a horrible skip. But, you know, I try. I'm also, like, kind of frustrated with my sister. Because she actually went to a driving school, like, I think last year. She just never took the actual final driving test. And I'm like, you dumbass. You literally wasted, like, $400 to take the class. And you're not even gonna take the final test when the exam cost is included in the tuition. Or not tuition, but the program. And she's like, yeah, I just don't want to ever drive. And I'm like, why did you take the fucking class then? Like, you literally just wasted 400 bucks. You dumbass. I think it, it's because, like, she and I are both kind of scared to drive. Because the thing with driving is that you can do your best to make sure that you're following, like, the rules of the road. And then, like... <laughs> but you can't you don't have control over like everyone else that's my biggest fear because like my family my parents have gotten in like a good handful of accidents and it's always been like other people's faults no you motherfucker oh dude we're random out of the way but you have to wait at least three years to get your full license i don't think so i think there's i know there's stricter regulations for if you're a minor but once you're an adult it's fair game like, once you're 18 here, um, all you have to do is take your knowledge and then the actual, like, what would you call it? Like, actual drive test. I, I don't know if I have to wait, like, X amount of time before I can have passengers, though. But, like, I would only be driving my family around. Hey, new prediction is up! But I'm excited for that. I mean, not really excited, but more like, I'm finally getting to it, and that's the good part about it. Because I had a car for graduation, I think I told the story before, like, I had this, like, 1970 Lincoln, I think it was, or something like that. And, of course, I didn't know how to drive, because we couldn't afford for me to go to driving school when I was a, when I was a teenager. Um, so, about a year after I graduated, like, I was considering, like, actually getting my license, but then on 4th of July... Some fucking teenagers threw firecrackers into the trunk of the car, and then because of that, it, it fucked up the exhaust system, so the car had to be totaled. So I lost my graduation car, which obviously was a privilege that I received that gift, but honestly, I didn't take full advantage of it, you know? So now I have to, like, buy my own car. Sag. Just break the rules, I know, easy. I mean, I feel like most government, like, rules and shit, there's so much, like, red tape, you could probably bend some of the rules. Because, like, if even the dummy dumb people can drive, I think, I think I could drive. Because, <laughs> like, there's a semblance of, like, skill to it, but I don't think you have to be, like, intelligent to be able to pass these fucking tests. Oh, I felt like this was lap 3. We're only on lap 2, my god. This track is so long. I'm getting better at these first lines, though. I'm trying to minimize how much I'm breaking, but it's kind of hard to not break. Oh! I almost had it. I released my drift too early. Do not do this to me now! Come on. Oh, I'm literally so far ahead though! Okay, we good, we good. We Gucci! Oh, look at that! The three star go trophy, guys! Easy clap again. I'm so freaking good at this game. <laughs> we good, we good. <laughs> we Gucci. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
I always say this, but if I 1v1 somebody, I could crush them. It's when I got a full lobby, I'm ass. Okay, let's go again. Anybody want to change my character? Anybody? If not, I'm gonna choose Rosalina. Also, is audio good? I moved my mic to a slightly different spot. I think it sounds fine, but... <coughs> okay, Rosalina, it is. It is. Okay, this pre I'm not as good at, unfortunately, but I'm gonna try. Okay, prediction is up, Gogamba. Do you think I will get first place? I have a list of topics and I'm just ignoring it. <laughs> Cause like for Mario Kart stream, this is like my story time, like game of the week. Cause for like Fall Guys and then SM30, or not SM30, it's SMU. I have to like actually focus. Oh, um, since we skipped stream yesterday on Tuesday, um, doing Mario Kart today. Fuck, I'm not supposed to trip off of there. Um, Fall Guys tomorrow, and then the bonus stream will still be on Friday, where we're gonna be doing Papa's Pizzeria. I think we'll just skip SMU this week. Like, I might stream on Saturday, but I can't promise that. Because I might be doing something this weekend, so. Also, I think next week, <laughs> since I think my driver's test is on Wednesday, so I think <laughs> I want to do like a bonus sub will stream just for like Goofin and Gaffin where I just read the whole driver's manual and that's the stream. Thoughts? Do you think- so I've wanted to chat if you think that, that'd be funny. I think it'd be hilarious. Like, <laughs> I don't expect people to watch it, but I think it'd be funny. God, this turn, it's never good enough. Your Animal Crossing music? Huh? Huh? Oh wait, could I do it? Oh shit, I didn't, I didn't throw behind faster. <gasps> no! No, no, no! Oh wait, it's only left two! Okay, save. So many of these tracks are so long. Oh! You guys see that? I dodged all three of those bananas. I'm correct. Like, in between the tracks? Huh? I think that's a you problem. Honestly. Cause I don't have Animal Crossing open. <laughs> nice try, Scrubs! Easy, I came back. I fell off to what, fifth place? Okay, now these other three tracks? I cannot guarantee a dub, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, next prediction is up. Go Gamba, Chatters. Go Gamba. Who keeps putting 69 in Believe? Good Chatters. Rob should be gambling more. I mean, gambling, not gambling. Because gambling is bad. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but I am still, like, super cautious whenever I go out in public. Like, I still wear a mask, I still try and keep my distance. And I live in Washington State, and Washington is lib central, okay? Like, we're fairly progressive, but there's so many, like, freaking libs here, and it's annoying. But anyway, so whenever I go to the shop, like, if I'm waiting in line to check out, I still leave, like, six feet between me and the other person, because, like, you know, I'm scared. And I was waiting in line, and... <gasps> oh, you guys see that? They crushed the red shell. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> anyway. So, I had, like, a carry-out basket. I did a good shopping cart. And the lady in front of me... It was an elderly woman, okay? So, obviously... They're gonna have different opinions about things, but 
she like purposely put like a lot of extra space on the conveyor belt and she's like oh you can put your basket up here but like at that point i would have been like standing right next to her and i'm like no no it's okay it's okay and she's like no i'm just doing this to be nice so you can like not carry i'm like no it's fine like she obviously doesn't understand like i'm like one of the five people in the whole freaking grocery store that's still wearing a mask so obviously she doesn't understand that i just don't want to get close to people especially with potentially um monkeypox being another potential endemic but it's one of those things where like I, I i understand why people don't want to mask up or maintain distance but if somebody wants to do it themselves like just leave them alone you know what i mean like think like i've seen clips of like people being in public and like getting shit on for wearing a mask still but like i'm moderate risk so like i need to do what i can to make sure i stay safe you know like, thankfully, I've, I've never seen it happen. I've never been called out in public since the mask mandates were lifted. But I think it's wild <laughs> that those people will do that shit. I don't know. And, like, this lady did another thing that fucking pissed me off. Oh, wait, I did the prediction early. Fuck. Chat, go gamble for the next race. Go gamble for the next race. Anyway, this lady did something else that we're gonna hold. For a clip, okay? We're gonna hold it. <laughs> oh, I love this stage! You heard the music again? What? Is it actually, like, fucking up? I don't think I have, like, another tab open. Wait, hold. I think I had another tab open. Sorry, hold. Did you, did you hear the whole time? Oh no! Hmm. I, I think I had a tab open. That was weird. I just had my Twitter open, so why was it playing music? That's fucking weird. Okay, do we hear it now? Yeah, I think. I just had a tab open. Like, I literally had my Twitter open, but no music playing. What the fuck? Okay, well, thank you, Lemon. <laughs> I guess you weren't a guest lighting me. That was odd. Maybe it was like an ad or something. You don't hear now? Okay. I think that was the issue. Anyway. Well, oopsie, I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, you know, I didn't stream for a day. I'm out of my groove. It happens. Okay, anyway. So this lady also did something else. So I don't know about y'all, but I was, like, raised to, like, be respectful for when you're in the store, meaning you respect both people and, like, the items in the store. So this lady, she was waiting in line. And... She was, like, talking to herself in the sense of- she's like, oh, I, I really need to, like, eat this chocolate bar now. And she had, like, a pack of, like, the mini Hershey's bars. And she's like, oh, I, I really want one now. <laughs> and she just opened it and, like, started eating them. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I have never, like, I have never opened an item early to, like, eat it when I'm checking out. Or, like, I, I, I will never, like, open a drink as I'm walking through the aisles if I haven't purchased yet. Because, like... To me, in my head, that's- it's not stealing, but it's just, like, unethical to a sense, right? But, like, I can kinda get it if, like, maybe you need to eat for, like, medical reasons, but, like, it... shouldn't you bring a snack or something? I don't know. It's just, like, it's rude to me. And I was thinking in my head, because she was getting ready to check out, and I was like, is she gonna lie and say that the bag was busted to get a discount? Like, I- I swear people will do that shit, too. Like, they will lie just to, like, like, scan the system. But when she checked out, she's like, No, I opened this myself. I was like, Oh my god, thank fucking god. Like, good thing she wasn't scamming. Jeez. But I think it's so rude to do that. Like, my mom would fucking. Okay, she wouldn't hit me, that's a joke. <laughs> but, oh my god, she would grill me so hard if I did that shit. You never done it either good. You were raised right. I think at its core, it gives you the sense of entitlement. Because, like... I've only seen white people do it. Not saying anything, but I've only- I've literally only seen white people do it. 
And it's like... There's a reason why they feel entitled to do that. It's just like, hmm. I'll go Gambit Chatters. It's like, why do you feel safe and secure enough to not think you'll get in trouble? Hmm. Why did it not hit them? I was literally behind them. Wait, I'm trying to think. Have I ever stolen from a store? I don't think I have. I mean, I kind of did. Because <laughs> what I used to quote-unquote steal was we would go to the dollar store all the time. And you ever go through, like, the flower aisle and there just happens to be, like, loose flowers on the ground? Because, you know, they just fall off because they're fake flowers. Um, I never took, like, a whole bouquet, but if there was just, like, a single flower on the ground, like, I would just take it. Like, I would pocket it. But in my head, little eight-year-old Mega would be like, you know, they're gonna throw it away anyway. It's already on the ground. Like, I don't think that's stealing. Is it stealing? I don't think so. Frick! Oh, no. And, like, also, when I was little, my parents would walk me like a hawk, so they would see me if I actually tried to steal something, like, legitimately. <gasps> no. Do not do this to me now! God, these lines on this track are insane. Uh, this is what I get for stealing. This is little, literally karma. I'm sorry, believers. I'm sorry. Is that my first L of the day? Damn. I mean, still a two-star. Pretty decent, if you ask me. Okay, I think we're gonna do a few more rounds of computers. Anybody wanna choose my character? Anybody? <laughs> I welcome in Deacon. Hope we're doing well today. And don't share too much, honey, but... I'm glad it's helping. I ate. <laughs> that's great. You know, that's a good first step for you. Glad to hear it's helping. Okay, chatters, new prediction is up. Go Gamba. You think I will get to first place? How am I coping? I'm doing good. I'm exercising more, like I'm trying to bike every day, so that's just contributing to my fatigue, but you know, in the long run, exercise will help. Man, I haven't played Link in a long time. I keep on forgetting he's technically a heavy character. I want to get an elliptical because it rains so much in Washington to where the only times I can really bike every day is during the summer or maybe springtime But on the days where it rains, it's not worth to bike because like I biked in the rain like to get to work in the past and it's not fun 
Like, yes, you do, like, bike faster because you want to get home and get out of the fucking rain. But there's been a few times where I swear I've gotten close to getting, like, hypothermia. Because, like, it's always, like, sleet and cold rain here in Washington. But I want to save up for an elliptical. That way I can still, like, exercise when it's not sunny out. But I don't think I even have space for an elliptical. Now that I think about it. <laughs> like, we have no room in this house. <laughs> no, please, I am so fucking close! Okay, we're fine, we got a good lead. Guys, this track is called Paris Promenade. Of course it's gonna give Ratatouille vibes. You goofs. Okay, next prediction is up. Go Gamba, go Gamba. Do you think I will get to first place? Kick your sister out, make room. Dude, this is this is not my house. I can't really do that. Honestly, she's stronger than me. So she could probably kick my ass too. <laughs> Cause like there's been a few times where like she can push me pretty hard, but you know my arms are stronger. Back in first, easy! Oh my god, there's something that my sister will do that fucking pisses me off. Cause like, they're, on the weekends, me and my sister used to wake up at the same time at like 7 or 8-ish. And we only have one bathroom in our house. So, what she will do is the moment she hears me open my bedroom door, she will get out of her room and she'll be like, Hey Megan, are you getting up? I'm like, yeah. And then she will like rush towards the bathroom and like fucking lock the door when she knows that I have to like piss myself, right? And it, it's such like annoying little thing she does and it pisses me off like every morning. Kicking your sisters out is a sub goal? I mean... 200 subs and I'll kick my sister out of the house. <laughs> I think Big Toad is single. Um, I think if he's putting himself out there in such a big way, I think so. You know, it's like advertising. I think it's kind of weird that you're sipping for him, though. Kind of cringe, not gonna lie. Hey, next prediction's up. Go gamble, chatters. Er, gamba. <laughs> Go Gamba! <laughs> Oopsie! You little shithead. Oh, you see that clutch right there? Easy. He's very big and he's a toad, so you like that. Okay. Seems we got a toad of filing, chat. <gasps> oh my god, I can't, I can't. See, I'm not weird like any of you guys. I've only liked people. It may be fictional characters, but that's where I draw the line. Come on. Come on, dude. I'm not one. Dude, look look through your logs. You're literally self-reporting. I mean, how can you say you like Toad, but you don't have a Switch Lemon, huh? If you had a switch, you could see him every day. Dude, what are my lines? Literally, what are my fucking lines? 
Do I need to go back to driving school? Oh, wait. <laughs> I actually am. Okay, saved. Easy. Man, we had one point in doubt, damn. Sag doubters. Imagine doubting. Oh, prediction! You save it up right now for what? The tweet is looking rather delectable. Well, I I did add one draft because like the only drafts I have now are like wholesome, and then I have one like based draft. I'm not gonna say what it is, but it's a very based take. I don't think I'm going to be posting edgy drafts from now on. Oh, the cars move! Look at that! Because I don't think chat likes the edgy traps. <laughs> that motherfucker. Based? Yeah, it's way too based. It's literally the most based take you'll ever see. Well, I'm gonna need you to be controversial. No, the, the base take is controversial. That That's how it is. It's controversial because it's based. But, you know, you're not going to see it unless somebody redeems. Okay, you say you like Edgy, but on the last Edgy tweet I did, it did not perform well, okay? So, we're not doing it again. You got auto-modded? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> oh, wait, you can't say it because you got modded, Lomo. You mentioned the Carpenter Ants? What? Huh? Okay, dude, I'm crushing this map. Oh my god. I should go pro. Tap one in chat if you think I should go pro. <laughs> should I go pro? Oh! <laughs> oh, that's weird. Uh oh. Oh my god, my Pikachu fell. Oh no. Oh no. I actually need to retape it. I fell down earlier. Okay, no Pikachu today, Sag. Surprised nobody debated me. Be like, oh my god, your Pikachu fell, Megan. Oh, we're gonna troll you, but it actually fell this time. Look at that, three star. Okay, anybody wanna choose my character? Oh, I remember what I was gonna talk about. Talking about shoes on the bed. If nobody's gonna pick, I'm gonna do Isabel. Wait, do I not have the redemption available? Am I dumb? I'm literally DOM. <laughs> Chat, I forgot. I'm sorry. I skipped the stream and everything is bad. There we go. Everything's back up. Thank you for redeeming. <laughs> Cause I, I disabled everything for Sunday and I forgot. Oopsie. <laughs> Let's do indigo. <laughs> Does the Pikachu have a name? No. Unfortunately not. His name is Pikachu. Yeah, why did nobody tell me that the redemptions were disabled? I blame you guys. It's not my fault, it's your fault.
Okay, prediction is up. Go Gamba, go Gamba. You know, I always say this, but communication is important. Uh, 100% in doubt? That's kind of mean. This track is so easy. Okay, so I don't know about everybody else, but it feels like a lot of people wear shoes inside their house. And I've always grown up in a no-shoe household, okay? Because walking outside is fucking disgusting. When you're walking on the sidewalk, you're probably tracking in, like, tiny pieces of, of animal poop, right? Just because you're walking on the sidewalk. So, the ground is disgusting. There's a reason why you don't walk outside barefoot. So why would you bring your shoes inside? So on that same point, I went to a coffee shop and, like, just got a drink. And I needed to fix my ponytail. <laughs> So, like, I ended my scrunchie, and then it, like, it flung off my hand because of the elastic. And I was like, frick, what am I gonna do? Because if something falls on the floor in public, it's GG's. It's game over. So, if I drop something on the floor at home, I know that our floors are clean because we don't wear shoes inside. But outside, no way am I picking up and eating or wearing something that I dropped on the floor. So, I was like, frick, I can't use my scrunchie! <gasps> no, you motherfucker. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. So, I just had to tie my hair in a really tight bun and use my hair as a scrunchie because I was like, no way I'm putting the fucking dirty ass scrunchie in my hair now. <laughs> and welcoming Claire, for sure you got one of the lucky gifted subs earlier. Did I get first? No, I got fucking second. And I literally was just shitting on the doubters for this track. I got distracted. At most, I walk to your room to take off your shoes. What? No. So then, you're tracking and everything else throughout the whole house. And then only your room is clean. I think- Oh! Just as bad. Just as bad. Is Mac at work? Maybe. Or maybe Mac just hates us now. Big Sag. I don't go live for a day, and then they leave. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. We're pretty well today, huh? Oh, and another thing, when I went to that coffee shop, I hadn't been there in like nearly six months at this point. And my favorite, one of my favorite workers was there. And I hadn't seen this worker in like literally a year. Cause I used to go to this shop like almost every day when I used to have my job, right? So I've been in, in the shop for a while. Hadn't seen this individual worker for like a year. And like I had my mask on. So like you could only see like half my face. But she still recognized me and she was so nice and so sweet. Oh my god. I think people fail to realize how much one positive interaction can make their day. Like I was already kind of having a crummy day. I think this was on Monday. But just her recognizing me like, oh, she's like, how's school going? Or like, how's life going? I was like, oh my god, it's so nice. Because like I said, I hadn't seen her in like a year, but she still remembered like so much about me. And, oh my god. <laughs> she said, where you been? <laughs> I mean, I was just trying to save my money, okay? No working for a year? You got no money. So I couldn't be getting a $5 coffee every day, you know? But it was so cute. So TLDR, try and be nice to people. Because you don't know how much... Like, it's gonna have a good impact on them, you know? No Fall Guys today? Yeah, we skipped stream yesterday, so everything's gonna be shifted over a day this week. We'll do Fall Guys tomorrow. I don't think I've skipped stream in a long time. I think it's been like... Maybe two months. <laughs> maybe you should not skip the $5 coffee and watch ads instead? Maybe. Maybe. But I got- I got first, right? Of course I did. Easy clap. Imagine being consistent- hey! Hey, don't- Don't say I'm not consistent. I am really fucking consistent for a small streamer, okay? Okay. 
Like you said, I haven't skipped a stream in like nearly two months. Oh my god, your cheap Pikachu fell. Dude! Yes! We know, we discussed that. Were you not listening? He said to hey, and I just point at the camera. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, chatters. Later? I, I have an I have a TikTok that's gonna be uploaded at like 1 p.m. today, so during um the ad break between Animal Crossing and Mario Kart. And the thumbnail, it's so funny. It, I just it just happened to me talking like angrily about something, and it's just me like with a super scrunched face, and it's so fucking funny. <laughs> Crystal is fighting for their life right now. They're like, oh my god, I did not mean to piss off my streamer. No, I'm trolling. I know you're trolling. I'm drooling. We did, yeah. Were you not? You literally weren't listening, Deacon. Cause like it, it fell over, and then I caught it, and then I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna retape it later." Imagine watching the stream but not paying attention. Kind of cringe. Peace I two misunderstanding. I think peace I two truing would be funnier. We need to have a truing. Peace I two hey versus peace I two yo. I think Peace I2 Yo is funnier. It also has Yo in the name. Or in the actual image, rather. Whoa, that was cool! Back in first, easy. There we go. You know what would be funny? <laughs> If- <laughs> Okay, you know how people have emotes where they're like facing each other? What if we had like, <laughs> he said to like, it'd be me looking like I was arguing, and then we'd have the exact same emote of flip, so it looks like I'm just like arguing with myself. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> oh yeah, I think Chatter said for my first sub only stream we want to make emotes. I think that'd be funny. We can do that for sure. Hey, chatters, go Gamba, go Gamba. Also, if you don't know what we're talking about, um, if you're a non-sub and want to still have custom emotes, you can have, you can download these third-party extensions because I'm going to be adding custom 7TV emotes that are related to me, or that are like screenshot ones, so. <laughs> Download those, like, those extensions right now if you're on Twitch desktop and of Google Chrome. Oh! I hate, I hate this trap. So much. Used what code? No. If they don't have a sub, then the sub emote codes will not work. Like, let's say if someone is a non sub and then they type in PSA2 Snicker, it would just say PSA2 Snicker and not have the actual email. So chatters, if you're not sub, don't please don't like type sub emote codes in the chat. It's just fucking annoying. Just use the third party extension the mode instead. Cause like I know in other chat rooms, for example, if you try and type like a sub emote code and you're a non sub, they will ban you. Like it's annoying as fuck. All in on yes. Uh oh. Rut row. <laughs> this is the wrong track to be gambling yes on, but you know. I'm trying. Okay, I caught up. Okay. Maybe I can clutch on this track? Keep back in first. All I need to do is hold. I need to not mess up any lines. And I'm set. <laughs> Peace I do. Oh no. <laughs> Isn't that Peace I do gasp though? And like, talking about emotes, I feel like I have a wide variety. Like, we do have the follower emotes, we do have the sub emotes, and now that we have the 7TV custom ones, I think you guys got a wide array of options to choose from. So I don't feel like anybody should be able to complain. Come on! Fuck you guys, I got first. Wait, I just saw how many points were in Believe. Holy shit. 2.3k? You guys are crazy. I mean, we love the believers, but holy shit. Who doubted? I want to know who doubted.
Peace I do hooves? What the fuck would that look like? Huh? Huh? This is weird, champ. Moderators, keep an eye on Deacon. <laughs> 2.3 was you? Nice. Well, good decision. I, I actually clutched there somehow. Can you change your name to Orange Lemon? Cool. You should change it to yellow because it's lemon. Okay, I think we can switch to online for now. You know what else we can switch gears to? Running some ads because, guys, we are nearly an hour to stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid the ad break by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon to your Twitch account and you can hashtag sub for free with Prime, guys. All you gotta do is check the box below, see if you have a Prime sub available. Give it to me, because I am your favorite streamer, right, you guys? Okay. Anyway, after that break, we'll do a little bit more Mario Kart. We're gonna do online, so you know, I need a little bit of challenge. So stick around, we'll see some of you guys in a few. Two out of ten, screw you. I think I think it was decent. <laughs> Real and true. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna change the predictions to top three. Cause I think top three is totally doable, right guys? I think I can do it. Okay. Prediction is up. Go Gamma Chatters. Go Gamma. Do you think I would? Top three. We're doing regional. Nope. We're doing worldwide ranked online. <laughs> I'm putting 2.3 on no. I mean, I would too. You just fell off your bed and closed stream? Deacon, I always tell you, keep a tab open. Come on. <laughs> I hope you're okay. No more jumping on the bed. No more PP party. Wait, sorry, you need to know what I'm talking about. More PP party. Sorry, that's an emote. Sounds kind of sus, but... No way, if I get top three, you're gonna be crying, Claire. <laughs> I mean, but now that you're a sub again, you'll get a multiplier in points. So you can maybe earn them back. Soon-ish. Fuck! Oh, no. Shit. Okay, this is not looking good. If I, <laughs> if I do a clutch and get a W, this would be crazy. Actually insane. Okay, I'm gonna focus, I'm gonna focus. There's so many points on the line. It's only six places, six places. <laughs> they fell off. That line was a lot better. You mean like watching the stream for three months, Deacon? Because yes, that is crazy. Time has flown by this year. Like it seems like New Year's was like a month away. No, come on, there's so many fucking boomerangs. Okay, just four places, I can do it. Oh, I think I think I can maybe do it. <laughs> I think his name is you bitch! <laughs> That's my kind of guy. <laughs> two more guys, two more. <gasps> nice try, motherfucker, you tried to snipe me? That's what you get, you bitch! <laughs> Oh no, come on. Shit! Oh, it's too late, it's too late for me. It's too late. Oh wait! Ah, damn. Mm. 
I tried. I made so many silly mistakes. Damn. Well, at least clear you got to keep your points. Hi, Cox. Welcome in, hun. Hope you're doing well. Top three, not this time, damn. <laughs> Were you a lurker? <laughs> I mean, lurkers are cool. No need to call them out. There's no lurkers are here to just enjoy the stream. Oh, Cox, I saw you in Scootish's stream yesterday. That was cool. <laughs> I think it was funny because Scootish was like. Well, there's Megan frogs in my chat. <laughs> I was like, okay. He's like, I know I have no clout, but I thought it was funny. Hey, chat, just go Gamba. Do you think I'll get top three this time? I think I can do it. Your lurkers are cool. Controversial, but I think lurkers are the best viewers. Because, you know, I don't have to give them any attention, and they still watch... <laughs> All in on yes? Sure. You're capping. Me becoming a lurker. <laughs> no, lurking, lurking is fine. I know my, I myself. I've become very much a lurker when it comes to watching streams now. Because I think the vibe with a smaller stream is that you get to interact one on one directly with the streamer typically. But I've come to a point where I don't need that attention. And that's totally fine. Like, I'm very much. I will look in my logs whenever I'm watching a stream. And I've become like an emote spammer. That's that's what my logs are. Like I just type emotes because I think it's funny and fun. Like I just be typing kick W all day. And that's my enjoyment. <laughs> I think it's also because like in a bigger streamer's chat or like a slightly active chat room, I am genuinely so scared of getting banned. That's why I don't like make I guess jokes all the time, because like they might be seen as non-jokes. I need attention, yeah. I know some of my parasocial andies, they need that attention. And I will give you that attention as long as you're good. <laughs> or not weird. <laughs> Lurkers are number three on my favorite list. Well then, who's number one and number two then? Okay, maybe? Maybe I can clutch. Two more spots. As long as I don't throw. Blue shell. Fourth. Yes! Guys, 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 guys. I'm gonna hold the red. Good thing I held. <laughs> nice try, you motherfucker! <gasps> yes! Yes, look at that! Dude. Look at that. That was crazy. I sniped the guy at the end when he tried to snipe me. You got timed out for a day in Hassan chat? Damn, I am so scared of that happening because I freaking love Hassan so much. He's my favorite. Man, we had 500 on doubt? Damn. Big Sag. 3 for 3 on predictions? Well, keep it up. Yeah, whenever- okay, so whenever I'm in a chat room and I say, oh, bye, or good night, or I'm leaving, I still lurk for, like, five minutes because I have this underlying fear that once I leave a chat room, and it's definitely like a smaller chat, like, they will know who I am and then, like, talk shit. I don't know. It's just anxiety brain. Got me watching VODs and shit? That's good. We love the VOD watchers, even though I get no money off of people who watch VODs. The ad revenue is dog shit. But you know, it's fun. VODs are cool. 
Definitely not as fun as a live stream, but I think it's cool that it's still available after a stream to watch. Oh, this is mirror mode, isn't it? Five watchers are number five. Who's number four then? Because I know number one is gonna be me, Avi. Two is the gifter of the day. Three is lurkers. Who's number four? Fuck! Oh wait, I clutch right there? Ice, we need to get you a hobby? That was kind of mean, dude. Not gonna lie. You know, Ice makes art and stuff, right? <laughs> Three is me, Avi. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I like to say I don't have, like, favorite chatters, but... If you're active and, like, consistent all the time, in the sense of, like, you're consistently, like, a good chatter, then you'll become my favorite. Okay, fifth? Don't you dare throw them behind you, motherfucker. That's what you get. I'll cut you off, bitch! <laughs> I always behave good. No, Deacon, you can be kind of sus sometimes, but you're not crazy. Oh, wait, I'm back in fifth! Never mind. I'm gonna be a good noodle in this daycare. Yeah, it's not that hard to be good. Like, honestly. Don't, don't, please. Why is it targeting me? Why the fuck is it targeting me? I'm already in fucking fifth. Now I'm in ninth. I'm not happy. You ate that race? Yeah, I ate dog shit because it was horrible. Don't rub it in. <laughs> Good thing I only put 300. I mean, I know when I do predictions typically, I will start off with like 1k if I have at least like 10k. It's like, I know me as a viewer. I'm not too keen on using channel part redemptions, unless it's something like crazy. Because I just like gambling, it's fun. It's entertaining. I've never gambled in real life, I've never bought lottery tickets, but Twitch predictions are the closest thing to it, and I love it. That's why I never will gamble, it's not worth it. Yeah, you could save 15 k so you can gift yourself a sub, or I gift you a sub. That's totally valid. I think it's fair, because 15k points is like a month of watching every stream. So, I think it's a fair price. And another reason why I like gifting my chat room subs of le as incentives is low-key, high-key. I like seeing my own emotes in the chat room. You know, it makes me feel good. Boosts that ego. And also, when someone receives a gifted sub, they're more likely to watch your stream. So that's why, like, I will always do gifted subs as incentives. Because in the long run, it helps with growth. I'm an eighth. Could it be doing better, but I can catch up. I ain't got no items. <laughs> oh, I should have held. Why'd I throw? We 
we can make a Meg stare. I just don't like the pose for that picture, honestly. The angle's not good. Oh my god, we got him! We got him, boys! I mean, we already have the 7 TV emote stare. <gasps> Third! Okay, nobody distract me. Nobody do any... Nobody dilly-dally. I, I need this dub. First! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> A red shell? Oh my god, this is great. This is perfect. <gasps> yes! Yes! Come on! Guys. This is going swimmingly. That was amazing. That was like a perfect run nearly. Like the last two laps were literally perfect. Damn, no believers that time? And I got a freaking first? Come on, chatters. Come on. Yeah, easy clap. Easy dunk. I mean, you're right, Claire. It's totally luck, but... You know, I, I like to say it's skill. You know, I hit my goal of getting a first in online. I've peaked. Okay, next prediction is up. Go Gamba. Do you think I'll get top three on this next race? I was never a believer. Like, literally never. I only like the songs, but I never was into fandom culture when I was younger, in like middle school. I mean like celebrity culture. I was into like fandom culture, but like for like fictional characters, not real people. Peace I do fandom on the other hand, I mean if people want to make like art or memes, go for it. I think it's funny. Like at me on Twitter if you ever make anything. Cause I think I've gotten two pieces of fan art from people on Twitter and that was genuinely so nice and cute. Oh my god. Easy clap. Guys back in second, baby! Bruh. How do I fall off the six? What the fuck? Oh, I'm guys, I'm in first. Never mind. <laughs> Any levels with cars on it? The worst. Literally the worst. I don't know how, how anybody can enjoy it. Yeah, see, I think Nintendo should sponsor me, because I think I've successfully gotten two people to purchase the Switch with my TikTok videos, so... I think it's deserved. I need that Nintendo partnership. is so close I knew they were gonna throw behind I'm so close come on 
Damn it! See, I'm getting better at online now that I'm doing worldwide instead of regional. I was playing Fall Guys this morning, and we were struggling to get lobbies with a full 60 people in it. Has Fall Guys fallen off? Is it a dead game? Yeah, usually if people have the same user on like TikTok or Twitter, then I'll recognize you here. Because I know with like TikTok comments, I try to reply to most of them if I can think of something additive to say. Like, I don't like the people who comment shit that's hard to reply to. I like the nails on my Twitter, thank you. I didn't show you guys earlier. Wait, hold, hold on. I did nails on Monday. It's green tips with a glitter top. Isn't it cute? It took me like an hour. Because I used to do like fancy designs and patterns on my nails like every single week when I was in middle school. But I had cheapy ass nail polish so it would always chip off after like literally a day. So it's kind of not worth So I stopped painting my nails in high school. But I know for now I usually just do like a simple base coat and then maybe like a glitter topper. But now that I have a more premium brand, um, it's Hollow Taco, not sponsored. But please, one day, please, if ever get cloud enough, please sponsor me. <laughs> I love their shit. Um, but like the only type of pattern nail I'll do now is French tip because now that I have my nails grown out longer, I think it kind of makes sense to do the French tip. I think it looks cool. Like I said it before, but I think once we start doing either weekly or bi-weekly, um, sub- or sub-only streams, I think we'll do nail painting and then, um, playing viewer games. I think that'd be fun. Because I want to get into, like, more elaborate nail painting patterns. I think that helped with like my dexterity to an extent. My nails are so stubbly. Yeah, when I was working food service, it was required to like not have acrylics or not have your nails long because you know it's not as food safe because it's hard to like wash your nails properly. But now that I'm not working, I'm gonna enjoy having longer nails as much as I can. Who won the last Gambit? I don't know. Doubt or zombie? Just looking at this race. <laughs> No! No! I knew what happened! I knew what happened! Fuck this map. Does anybody think I can come back from this? Maybe if I get like three bullet bills? Blue shell? Let's see if I can clap some people. Oh! <laughs> that guy <laughs> fell up. There we go. Yeah, just give me two more bill bills and then I'm set. Okay, sixth place. You get nobody. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I almost put top three by accident. Oopsie. That would've been funny. You know, scamming is kind of fun. Okay, next prediction is up. Greaseye 2 scam one. What would that look like, though? You, I keep saying this. You guys type emo codes, but, like, what what will they look like? You're like the guy in the meeting at work, and they're like, Hey, I want to do this big thing. But then they don't suggest how to execute the idea at all. It's like, I need more information. Like a scam? 
Okay. Maybe it could be like truing. Hmm. My hair is so poofy today, it's hard to not like go like this, you know? <laughs> These are two keyboard smash. We have tens in Smash enabled. You know those disappearing memes where it's like somebody starts screaming but then it cuts and then they like fade away? <laughs> I think those were my favorite. <laughs> those are my favorite. I don't usually like Zoomer Homie, but that's my favorite type of edit. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I'm a sucker for any girl in like pigtails or braids. I think it's adorable. I think it's so cute. Oh my god. The... You know, I'm a fan of all women, but whenever they have their hair up, my heart. I think it's because like ponytails and braids. They define, like, the shape is interesting, so it's interesting to look at. <laughs> because I like women, yes, Avi. Guys, we do have LGBTQ tags, so. <laughs> that one in chat if you're gay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting, unless. <laughs> Uh, no, seriously. Don't answer. Don't answer if you don't feel comfortable. Like, how many chatters are, like, queer? Like, I think I jokingly asked chat one day, like, how many people are in the chat room are straight? And we had, like, one guy. <laughs> Much <a game. laughs> Uh. <laughs> Guys, I fell off. I'm in 11. Come on! It blaze! My god, that was crazy. Okay. I know we do get more sweats in like worldwide lobbies, but the matchmaking is better. Like everybody's a similar rank. I think it's because I don't think many people are playing Mario Kart at noon on a weekday in America. Hey, chat. Next prediction is up. Go Gamma, go Gamma. Do you think I'll get top three this time? <laughs> no, whenever I play video game, I always play the women characters. I think it's cool. <clears throat> oh, I didn't even see Mushroom Gorge was an option. Damn. That's my fault. You know what I want to do? You know how we have the wallpaper here? I want to try and get like large pieces of like corkboard or cardboard and make like 3D murals. Like I think the first one I want to do is like get a large piece of cardboard and like put like tons of faux flowers in it. I think that'd be cute. Like I could do stuff with like clay or foam to make like 3D shapes. I think it'd be cool, but that's a lot of supply money. So when I get rich, I want to do like more elaborate like not it'd be like wallpapers, but essentially more like murals or sh or sculptures. I think it'd be cool. 
Guys, I'm in first. Let's see how long I can hold this. Because, like, I want to try and push myself with art. And I've always wanted to work in 3D more. Because my sister, she's super into ceramics and clay. So she could definitely, like, help me. But, like, how cool would it be to have, like, a wall? Something like this, like the inner cave. Where it's dark and I just have, like, 3D gems. I think that'd be cool. Oh, if you know, I think it'd be weird if I made a mural of chatters. That'd be fucking weird. That'd be weird. Okay, I did hit somebody, thank god. You looked at my art highlight? Uh oh. Was it anything cringe? Put <laughs> me on the mural? <laughs> no, that'd be weird. You know, it to me, if I put chatters on a mural, I think it'd be very similar to a shrine, and I feel like that's not cool. You know, you guys can have me on a shrine, but I can't have you guys on a shrine. <laughs> you have really unique art though, really? Well, thank you. Fuck! I, I, hate, I hate this drag. No, I actually love it. I need to do art more. I need to like seriously make more stuff. Guys, I'm in fourth place. I'm in very close. What? Why am I getting a fucking blue shell? Sorry, I got excited. I wasted those shrooms. Your first is only right there. On oh, top three is so close! Third! Second! Look at that! Look at that, guys! You see that? <laughs> it's a second! Oh my god! Damn, no believers again? Come on! Chatters, come on! Every time I believe, nobody believes in me. Or every time I win, nobody believes in me. Kind of rude, not gonna lie. Okay, if I was gonna have a mural, I'd only put the believers on it. I think that's fair. Why'd I choose Yoshi Circuit? I hate this trap. I did it to myself. Hey, next prediction is up, Gogamba. I'm not gambling anymore. I feel like my winning streak is ending. I mean, just toss like a hundred points. That's nothing. You got a few thousand. You know, only Gamba, like, you can afford to lose. Don't, do not ever go all in. Do not, literally never go all in. That is D-O-M. That is bad gambling habits. You say to blackmail? Hi, Vic. Welcome in. <laughs> Love how nobody voted yes. I know, right? I was literally just saying every time I get top three, nobody believes. So. It'd be like that. Go big and don't go home. Just never go home. <laughs> oh, that guy's a pro. They're a sweat. They intentionally waited for that double item box. Here we go, back in sixth. Oh, I should have gone for the cut, but you know what? It's fine. I don't need it. I don't need it. Yellow era. Deacon, I think that's green. I don't think that's yellow, unless you're colorblind, then that's a big L. Please stay away from me. Fifth? <gasps> yes! Fuck you! Why is he targeting the person with the star? Karma? 
Sea Chatters, I have a Twitch Turbo subscription, so I have this nice seafoam green. Nobody else has my color. And I feel so cool. Okay, fifth. That cut actually saved me. <laughs> Colorblind Slender. <laughs> um, being colorblind would suck. Thankfully, I've never experienced it, but I can't imagine how horrible... I'm being evil, I'm being evil. How horrible it would be. But then it's like, what if you've never seen those colors so you don't know what you're missing out on, you know? Am I being ableist? <laughs> Awkward. No, but aren't there like colors that we technically can't see that only bugs can see? Fuck. You get free Twitch Turbo if you have an Xbox subscription? Really? Ooh. Oh, I got fifth! It's best if we change the subject, yeah, let's not... Let's not be ableist today. Should I buy one of those colorblind glasses and make like a Logan Paul video? I've always- I've taken the colorblind test, like, you know, it's got, like, the dots and the numbers, and I haven't failed it, so I know I'm not colorblind. But, I- Dude. One of my friends, they're, like, red-green colorblind, and they didn't realize it for the longest time. Because they can, like, if they're put next to each other, they can kind of tell the difference, but it's kind of fuzzy, right? And so I sent them a meme of- <laughs> what, what, what was the fucking meme? It was, like, so mean! <laughs> What was it? Dude, I wish I could find it, but it's it's like I've sent them so many fucking memes. But what was it? It was like if you can't see the number six, you're stupid. And it was like the red green like colorblind visual. <laughs> and <laughs> and my friend was like, wait, I actually can't see it. I was like, oh my god, you're colorblind. This was a few years ago, mind you. <laughs> oh, But now whenever they play games, they have the the different, uh, what would you call it? Game modes? Where it's adjusted for people who are colorblind. Fuck, I, I hate this part. <laughs> Pick a struggle? Man, that's a double whammy right there. I mean, I'm probably gonna go blind one day. Like, my mom's eyes are really fucked up. Oh, we dodged the bomb! Whoa, that's crazy, Vic, really? Is that why you ran the red light on your test? <laughs> but it, that's crazy. I mean, it's one of those things where, like, if you never, like, test yourself when you're younger, you don't know. That's crazy. Cause like, I remember being in school and the only test they would do like annually would be like they'd weigh you, they would check your height, and then they would check your vision. And I remember every year up until like 7th grade, my teacher was like, Hey, you know, Megan's parents, you should like buy your kids some glasses, but she's like fucking blind. And they were like, no, no, we'll wait, we'll wait. And like, so I finally got glasses in middle school. And turns out I've needed glasses, like pres pres prescription glasses, like my whole life. <laughs> but you know what? We're poor, so it's not like we could have afforded the glasses anyway, but... I think the biggest- the best analogy I've heard for people who don't have, like, 50-50 vision... When you put your glasses on, it's kind of like going from, like, 480p to 1080p. Like, everything is just so much crisper and clearer. Guys, can we talk about how I'm in first and I have a freaking massive lead right now? Sorry, I'm ignoring chat, but I- I need this dub. I need another dub today. I mean, no, I'm not ignoring you guys, I'm doing story times. There's a difference. Dude! Oh my god, you were blind for half your life. I know, literally, literally. But like I said, glasses are freaking expensive. And like, thankfully, because like my mom's eyes, they're so fucked up to where um, she needs like very special lenses and like for contacts too. Like the shape of her eye is not perfectly spherical. 
So she has to get custom hard lenses, and they're fucking expensive. There's also no believers. Yeah, come on, guys. We need at least one believer every time, okay? You were supposed to lose? Well, you should have put those points in doubt, vacant. SMH, man, SMH. Fake fan. <laughs> All my doubters are fake fans. Okay, new predictions up, Go Gamba. Do you think I'll get first? Or not first, top three. Even though I just got a first on that fast race. That's two first places today, today guys. That's kind of crazy. Kind of wild. You'll believe this time, bet. Put your money where your mouth is. I need to order new, like, shampoo and conditioner. Because I bought specialty kind for my hair. But my mom and my sister use it. And, like, each bottle was, like, nearly $50. Oh, and when we went to the salon, I got two of each, so I spent, like, nearly $200 on shampoos and shit. I mean, granted, that was, like, nearly a year and a half ago at this point, but... I still would have had shampoo left over if they didn't fucking use it. But whatever. It'd be like that. I keep mine in my room for a reason. Actually, valid point. <laughs> Somebody write that down. That's actually super smart. Because, like, I keep my own snacks in my room because, you know, we're very possessive over food in our house. But I never would have thought to keep, like, toiletries in your room. That's what my sister does. She keeps, like, pads in her room. I mean, granted, she's, she's the only one who uses them, but... I mean, not like I'd steal them. See, like, my hair it's basically healed to the point where it's still soft, but it's not shiny. I want my hair to be shiny. The only time when it's shiny is when I'm sweaty. <laughs> and that's not ideal. Guys, look at this lead I have. Fuck, I got a coin. This is not good. This is not good. This is not Fago. No, this is not Foggy. This is freaking Fago. Come on, give me something good. I have exactly 39 cans of Dr. Pepper yet left. How many did you start off with, huh? How many are you drinking a day? Guys, look at this. Okay, there's a blue shell coming. There's a blue shell coming. How many did you start off? Yeah, we need an intervention. How many cans of Dr. Pepper did you purchase? Now it's not just me asking. Chat needs to know. Come on. Guys, I need- I need a W. Our third dub of the day? No fucking way, no way, no way, no way! No way! 48? Didn't you just buy it like last week though? That's more than a can a day. That's kind of concerning. Whew. I put a lock on the shampoo. <laughs> okay, I don't think we need to go that far. But guys, look at that. Good job, believers. Really? Oh, 110 on doubt. Get fucked, doubters. Honestly. Screw you guys. Okay, next prediction is up. Gugamba. Dude. Do we need to have, like, a first place counter on stream? Maybe we do. Okay, next pre prediction is up. Oh, you shared it with your friends? Okay. That's fair. That's valid and fair. Yeah, believers are actually eating today. For once, am I right? Crazy. Imagine? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Wait, is that my second first in a row? I don't remember. Because I won the underwater one. And then... What was the one I just won? I don't even remember. Memory is so bad. That's anxiety brain for you. It just fucks up your memory. Why so many mirror modes today? Like, I swear, half of the races have a mirror mode. And it's not fun! Type one in chat if you think mirror mode is fun. If I was chatting, I would type two. Mirror mode sucks.
Nice try. You like Miramo Potato, really? Hi, welcome in, hun. <laughs> Zero. Oh wait, no, I said type one if you think it's fun. I forgot two means you don't like it. Never mind. I forgot. Oh, I should have gone for the skip. It sends me into disarray. I know, it's so confusing. I'm in top three. Mare's the worst. I agree. Why am I getting a product plant in third? I don't want this. I don't want this, Sam. I am. You know what my one of my dream jobs would be? I would love to be one of the people in the library who reads books to the kids. I think that genuinely would be so fun. Oh my god! Thank you, Vic, for that gifted sub! I appreciate that! You're gonna get your name right to nothing on the stream, but thank you, Vic! What I th one of my favorite things is um, in Extra Emily chat, in Extra Emily's chat, she has... <laughs> I want to be the hundredth gifted. How many subs are we at, guys? I can't see it. Wait, Lemon, is Vic your new favorite now since they gifted? We'll talk about the library thing again on the next race. Because <laughs> Vic interrupted my story time. Fuck, I'm in eighth. Seventh? Hold. Okay. Okay, dude. I fell off. You just hit 100. Let's go. Let's go. Did I fall off? Wait, let me see. Oh, shit. I did fall off. Because we were at 109 earlier. Big Sag. Did I get top three? Not today. Damn. I interrupted with my wallet. True. True. But you still interrupted our story time. <laughs> so don't subscribe. Wait, where's the copy pasta? Nope. <laughs> I forgot. We haven't used that copy pasta in a long time. I'm trolling. I, I'm trolling. Vic, I appreciate the gifted sub. No, I, I said that because we were at 109 earlier, so I fell off. Do not subscribe! Do not spend money here! <laughs> so funny. I saw this copy pasta in Hassan's chat, and it was so fucking funny. I don't see it often, because there was like one stream where chat would not stop spamming this, and it was like the funniest thing. You will never fall off in our hearts? I mean... I feel like you guys shit on me all the time, so... In a nice way, though. I don't think anybody's gone too hard. Oh, I dodged him. I think it's kind of crazy that we're at 100 subs, though. Because, like, I know the subathon was a big bump, because I think we got a total of 30 death that day, including the 11 that I gifted myself. But... It's very- it's a very high sub count for somebody of my size. Like, usually people my size, they have like, maybe 50. Cap. But my normal sub count is at like 40. But that's because I get a lot of gifted. So thank you, gifters. We do it with love, for sure. Kappa. Okay, Deegan, don't be all ex existential, okay? I'm not- we're not that old, you guys are still young. Any old heads in chat? <laughs> I mean, I think most of my chatters are younger. Like, i.e. teenagers or young adults. I don't think we have any, like, middle-aged people. Anyway. What, what, oh, what I was gonna finish saying was like, my sub count is really high for someone my size, so thank you everybody who helps support the channel throughout the month, throughout the past mo few months. 
I really appreciate it. You guys have helped me earn income to where I can pay off some of my bills. And also make content for you guys. So thank you. You are the old head? No, I'm 20. I forgot how old I am. I'm 23. <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> Meme with middle aged people. <laughs> Old enough to pay taxes, but not by alcohol. I know, big sad. I think every- wait. Let's watch how I word this. <laughs> I think if somebody is legally an adult at like 18, I think they should have more freedoms. I think it's bullshit how people can't like rent a car till they're 25. It's like, bruh. If they have their license, they should be like eligible to rent a car. I don't get it. Hi, Mac! Welcome in, hon. Hope you're doing well today. Late as usual! SMH, man. All my chatters missed you! They were like, mod check, Mac? Where's Mac? Hi, welcome in, hon. Oh my god! Sorry. I've- Oh, dude, what the fuck happened? That was horrible. That was horrible. Ugh. If you don't earn above 18k, you don't get taxed. Well, I think taxes are reasonable. I just think, okay, I this take way too based. Okay, get ready, get ready. You know how in America, everybody gets taxed to some capacity, right? But the people who are against taxing the rich, like they're like, oh, the number amount they pay is higher than what you pay, but the percentages are different, right? How can we expect people who are living at poverty or below poverty level to sometimes pay less amount in taxes than the people who are living such luxurious lives or have like massive income or assets, right? I don't understand. Like, I will never advocate for taxing. Or no, I will always advocate for taxing the people who have larger incomes. Because like I said, like how, how can we expect people who are struggling to eat, struggling to like have... Um, consistent housing but we're allowing the people who have massive sums of money to thrive I don't get it just stop working five head yeah <laughs> okay chatters go gamba go gamba like I keep saying this but like if I made enough money to where I was in that higher tax bracket, whether it be like middle class or like upper class, I wouldn't mind getting taxed more. Because like, growing up in a household where you have food insecurity or like housing insecurity, I will gladly pay more in taxes if it can help guarantee people to have more resources who are lesser than me, you know what I mean? <laughs> How's stream? We got some work? It's good. I've gotten three first place in online, which is kind of crazy. You only get taxed and make over 13k. I think that's similar- wait, I'm trying to think. How is it in the states? Because I think if you make less than X amount, you don't have to report your taxes. I don't know. I, I, I can't remember what it was. No. I don't fucking know. Because, <laughs> like... Any part-time job I've had, I've always made enough to be taxed on. You're cracked, yeah. Secretly. Cracked POV. Dark horse. Because even when, even when I was working part-time, I still made a total of like... Like 15k a, um, a year. But that's like less, that's less than 2k a month. And I think... What happened was, when I was working three jobs, so when I was working the two... I was working at two... Three different fast food locations, but with two companies. So, when I was working those three jobs, I made, like, a total of... I think, like, 45k in one year. And I was in a higher tax bracket, because that's technically, like, above poverty level. So that's technically, like, middle class, so I got taxed more. Like, that year, I had to pay $900 in excess taxes, and I was like, fuck. But... Like, I didn't mind it, but still, it's a bummer. But like I said, even if I'm in a higher tax bracket, I don't mind getting taxed more because hopefully 
That money will go to people who need it. Oh, it's 12k? Okay, thank you, Vic. I wasn't sure what the number was. Yeah, but 12k, that's less than 1,000 a month, so I don't think anybody would be under that amount anyway. It hurts so much to see how much you lose their paycheck. Yeah, that's the... I wish... I, I don't know what would be better. Like, would it be better if you just keep everything and then pay everything in, like, a lump sum every year? I mean, getting a return, I think, is nice. Like, it's a nice little bump you get every year. <laughs> Peace, I do meet up should be attacked, March. Okay, guys, I'm a socialist, but... Uh... I don't know, okay? Okay, I think we have time for, like, two or three more races, guys. I've... I've never gone to, like, a protest or, like, a walkout or anything because I'm genuinely so scared that something's gonna happen. Because, like, there's so many fucking, like, weirdo anti-protesters that come in and, like, cause problems. And I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to get assaulted. Eat the rich. Yes, eat the rich. Peace out, too. Eat the rich. <laughs> I think we talked about it before, but like, if we ever do a PSI 2 meetup, it needs to be at a cheesecake factory. Or like, some type of nice restaurant. We will PSI 2 protect you. Yeah, everybody, get your PSI 2 punches ready. I'm trolling, I'm trolling. I mean, I think... I think you can have money, and I think you can be part of like, wealthier or upper class. But as long as you advocate for policies that do protect the lower classes or offer them more resources or if you yourself donate i think it's totally fine like i told myself if i ever become like like this will never happen but if i ever become like a point where i can afford to like start a non-profit or like help build like affordable housing i would do it like i don't need all those millions to myself you know because i think Yes, I understand that at the, like, national level, the government has so much more power than individuals over, like, infrastructure or, like, resources for people. But if I can help by donating or help, like, contributing to foundations or organizations that will help those in need, I will gladly donate. Portable housing in the UK is a joke. I mean, so in the US, but hopefully in, like, 20, 30 years it'll change for the better. Okay, it's only lap two and I'm fucking failing. I'm fucking failing. You said to fail. <laughs> That's for my shield. Let's see, I don't want my chatters to get hurt either. <gasps> Game changing! Wait, what? How are they still so big? Guys, I'm in fourth? Ron in fourth is not cool. It's gonna hit me? <sighs> Come on. I mean, frick. <laughs> we got him. We got him, boys. <gasps> no way. No freaking way. Dude, I got a double item box, and then I got bolted, I got boomed. Dude, that was so unfair. Ugh. I was doing so well. Yeah, I don't know anything about European... ...like, laws. I'd have to educate myself. Ugh! Okay, Chatters, I think we have time for two more races. Two more. Blame it on the lag. I mean... We could. Top three, not this time. I'm so freaking close! Oh. I had it, and then I didn't have it. Okay, next prediction is up. We'll do two more races, guys. Two more. Scotland just got free period products. Thankfully, my god. We need that here. Why can't... <laughs> Why can't we just, like, give things out for free? Why can't we do that? Wouldn't that be nice? 
Surely. I think all water and electricity should be free. Because, like, I was thinking about it a while ago. But if you think about it, like, in an elementary school, what does your teacher tell you? They tell you you have the right to shelter, to clothing, to water, and food. Right? So when you're told this when you're younger, they are basic needs they should be. Exactly. Like, you need those things to survive. I don't understand why... In America, we just don't give them to people. Why don't we just vibe together? Lemon is like, this is getting too political. <laughs> political, Andy. <laughs> yeah, especially the people who... Like, was... I read some article, but like, were, wasn't there some cases in the states where like, people who couldn't afford to play their, pay their electricity bill, like, they didn't have AC, so like, some of them, like, got a heat stroke or something? I mean, we, we don't, wait, am I gonna self-report? <laughs> Cause like, we have basins that collect like water from um, the gutters, and then we use that water to water the garden, but we don't drink that water. Is that fine? I feel like that's fine, right? Cause my grandma does it too, and she's in Hawaii. Exactly, that's the same kind of situation I'm in too, Mac. Like, I'm genuinely concerned like, the reason why I haven't moved out when I'm 23 is, like, if I move out, I don't want to go back home. And I feel like that's what most younger people want. But the the worry is that I won't be able to, like, either keep my housing or be able to pay, like, utilities and stuff. Like, if water and electricity was covered, that'd make everybody's lives so much easier. Because there's been a few times where they've shut off our power for a day or, you know, they shut off the water for a day or two. And it sucks. Knowing that you have to go through life having the stress of not having those basic rights offered to you. And like, it's embarrassing. Like, not that people would know about it, but you know how they put like that orange banner on your door. Be like, hey, we're shutting up your water in two hours. Like... Dude, come on, come on! Sorry, I'm focusing. I'm- I'm gaming. No, please don't do this to me! God damn, I got boomed. Bruh. Bruh. What even happened there? What? even fucking happened. Oh. That's illegal, but at least anyone cares, okay? No more self-reporting, no more self-reporting. Okay, chatters, last race. Is it really? I mean... Nobody snitch, no snitches. Oh wait, I put the wrong thing. No, no snitches. No snitches. Okay, chatters, last race of the day. The last prediction of the day, chatters go gamba, go gamba. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. My parents feel similarly as well. You didn't know it was illegal? No. <laughs> shit, shit. I, I don't know shit, okay? The government hate, hates free everything? The American government, because they're pro-capitalism. I hate capitalism, more like crapitalism, am I right? I think profit sharing is cool too. If I ever have a company, I would always have like incentive bonuses and profit sharing. I, I explained this before, but if I ever get mods, um, I would give them a percentage of my Twitch income. I'm not giving them nothing. Not saying that I'm looking for mods, but if I ever do have them, I would obviously pay them to some capacity. Like it wouldn't be like a full-time wage because streaming Income is non-existent for the most part. Or, it's not that it's non-existent, but the the time to income ratio is like nothing. But I would obviously compensate my mods to some capacity. Guys, first place. Because in my head, I think companies that do have like um, what it, profit sharing, it'll incentivize the workers to work harder.
What is the projects? What? I don't know what context it's referring to. Like, I can think of a few things, but it pertains to, like, American politics. I don't know. Um, research it yourself. I'm not educated enough in it. <clears throat> come on, I can come back. I had first this race. I had it, and then I didn't have it. American politics are stinky, but they're entertaining. <laughs> ah. Should I just become a political streamer and we just, like, watch news clips and then do commentary all day? Would anybody watch? <gasps> no! No way. No way! No way! Michelle! There's no one behind me. Now I'm sad. You know who else is sad? People who have to watch ads because chatters, we are nearly two hours in the stream. It's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. 10 out of 10 because I'm sad. Sag. We'll do one more race. I need to redeem myself. We'll do one more. So chatters, you can also hashtag sub for free with a Prime by linking you to your Twitch to your Amazon Prime account. Hi Pride, welcome in. Um... Also, chatters, during the ad break, if you have to see that ad, I just uploaded a new TikTok. So go watch it, go like it, go leave a comment. So, after the ad break, like I said, we'll do one more race. And then we'll switch gears to Animal Crossing. So, chatters, stick me around. Your mom is for dinner at Lamau. Got him. Yeah, I know in some states that um, they're either shortening the school weeks because there's a teacher shortage. Hi, Kirby. Welcome in. Babe, new track. Um, I like the pinball one. That one is fun. Wait, I didn't do a prediction. Guys, um, type 1 if you believe. Type 2 if you think I won't. <laughs> and it's freaking Miramo too. Ooh, should I go for the skip? Hey, yo! Whoa! Dude, that's crazy! I've never gone for that skip! That's insane! I didn't even know that was there! Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Man, I'm seeing so many twos in the chat. God! I was trying to blast that red shell. Didn't work. You guys have an excess of teachers? What? Dude, we should send them here. We have, like, no teachers. And you know why we have no teachers? It's because they aren't giving sustainable wages. The workplaces are not the best. And also, they have to invest so much of their own personal money to their classroom. The system is broken. Yeah, send your broke teachers here. We will take them, I guess. You know how in Florida, didn't fucking whatever the fuck his name is, the bad guy... <laughs> Didn't they sign legislation to where, um, you don't necessarily need a full master's to teach. You can just, like, be a former military and, like, the spouse of former military. Isn't that crazy? You can have, like, random-ass PTA people whose husband is deployed be a fucking teacher. Yeah, I would never. I would never go to Florida. They're crazy. Come on, go! Go! Wait, this is lap three. Guys, lap three. Lap three. Bro. High school is too many students. I feel like every classroom is like overloaded now. Guys. The one time I don't do a prediction. I get fucking third. What is this? 
What is this nonsense? Let's do one more. One more. Let's actually do a prediction this time, though. Okay, I'm not gonna scam. Get chat. La I promise. Last race of the day. Do you think I'll get top three? Actually, Gamba, go all in on this one. Okay, go all in. It's the last race of the day. Alright, it's hot in my room, so I'm like... I have to keep shuffling. Okay, Chatters, go all in. I want to see all your points in. Oh, another thing I wanted to bring up is my clips account on YouTube. I'm going to start uploading the singing clips. So, if you follow my TikTok, it's basically the same videos from TikTok. But if you can just subscribe to that YouTube clips channel, that'd be great. Because once I hit 1,000 subs, I could be eligible for monetization. And that'd be pretty poggy. No! Why is it this drag? I hate this one. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Doubters? You might be eating good. In his mirror mode, freak. This is not what I want. We never talked about the library story? Oh yeah, thank you, Deacon. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not like a full story time, but... It's just like a quick anecdote. I think one of my dream jobs that I've always wanted... Even when I was little. You know when you're little, you type in like, ooh, what is your dream job in like kindergarten and sixth grade? I put like artist, fashion designer, and then I considered putting like librarian. Because I feel like that job would be so chill. Like just organizing books. You get to be quiet. It's a nice chill place. But I've always liked reading books to kids. I remember in like sixth grade at our elementary, you would have the sixth graders once a week go to the first grade classrooms and you would read books with them. That was my favorite activity to do. Because... I think my favorite thing about reading books to kids is since they have such a high imagination, you can tell when they like can picture things in their head that they don't necessarily see in the book. And it's so like fascinating to watch. And like with picture books, you can be kind of extra. You can do voices and stuff and it's so fun. I think at our libraries, I don't think the volunteers get to read books to the kids. I think you have to actually be on staff. Or like if you're a scheduled guest, then I think they'll do like special like sessions. But that's what I wanted to do. But ever since pandemic, uh, it's not an option anymore. Because I think they're offering in-person services, but no more reading books in a group anymore. Okay, can we talk about how I've held second for nearly two whole laps? Oh my god. What is my favorite kids book? Ooh. I know when I was younger, I think my favorite kids- Fuck! Like, my favorite kids, like, chapter book had to be the Geronimo Stilton ones. Those were pretty solid because I liked how the book had, like, different text for, like, certain words. I thought that was really cool and illustrative and fun. Um, what's another one? I think my favorite picture book? No fucking way! Dude, I literally had freaking the second. I love Mario Kart. I love it so much. But my favorite, like, picture book? I think my favorite good one... I love the stories that have, like, a moral. Like, the allegories, I think they're called. I liked, um... We're gonna switch gears to Animal Crossing now. So if you're new to stream, Animal Crossing is more chill, more just chatting wise, so it's more time for me to actually talk to chat and, like, do story times and stuff. Okay, so let's switch gears. Um... So I liked all the stories that had anecdotes and allegories. You know, Animal Farm for kids? No. Uh, what's my favorite, though? I like the one where it's, like, the old lady who swallowed a fly. Those ones were always fun. Because it's about gluttony and not, like, going over the top. The yeah, Animal Crossing, Peace and Two vibe. Chill time. Oh, also, Mac, I know you weren't in stream earlier, but, um, since some chatters on the Sunday stream, some of their items got missing. Because I know, I think, because Nick's messaged me off stream, too. But since some people lost their gold, as compensation, I gifted chat, or Meg Esports gifted chat five subs. 
because I noticed that the gold was still in my inventory. So it was a server issue, Big Sag. I'm down 25 bucks, guys. Oh, yeah, the Hungry Caterpillar was another good one. You're right. There we go. Okay, she's my channel. What should we change the title to? Hmm. Peace I too. Hmm. Who's not a sub? Your mom. <laughs> Got him. Okay, no, seriously, what should we change the title to? <laughs> wait, wait, okay, this might be crazy. <laughs> it's actually, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. It's so bad. It's genuinely so bad. Uh, okay, what should we name it? What should we name it? I wanted to title it Street Cruisin' for a bruising, but that implies violence, so I can't do that. That's not the title I was thinking of. I'm not gonna see what the title I was thinking. Chatters, you guys are not helping me. What should I title this? <laughs> guys, I need to leech off you guys somehow, okay? Hmm. He said two. Hmm. No thoughts, head empty. No. Okay, I will tell you guys what I was thinking. I'm gonna do with this. Cleaning up after. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> after. Disa How do you spell disastrous? Oh, that's not right. Wait, chatter. Somebody. Look, how do I spell disastrous? Disastrous. Oh, I, I totally spelled it wrong. Hold. Event. <laughs> okay. So, I changed the title to Cleaning Up After the Disastrous Event. My initial title was gonna be... Cleaning Up After the Remains of the Fishing Tournament. And I think that is a bit much. I think that is a bit much. Okay, anyway, enough self reporting. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Tibbaland, it is 1.09 p.m. on Wednesday, August 12th, 2022. You know, I heard Flicky's taking time off here in Tibbaland. He loves our bugs so much. If you have any to share with him, I know it would make his time here extra special. I am so annoyed. I had CG on my island on Monday, and I was so tired from the Sunday stream that I totally forgot to donate fish for a statue. So I missed out on an opportunity. I mean, my fault, totally, but I was still annoyed myself. Okay, so... Let's see what we need to do. I basically have neglected my island for the past few days. I've only logged in to, like, get items from, like, the daily logins and stuff. But essentially, we, we actually need to clean up after <laughs> Sunday's event. So... Oh, wait, Chatters, I want to ask you, since we have the Animal Crossing frogs here... What do you guys want to do for next month's event? Um, Cause like we could do bug, but I don't think as many bugs spawn- OH FLICK! Hold, hold. Hold. I don't think nearly as many bugs spawn during fall time. So we sh honestly I should have done a bug tournament <laughs> during summer. But you know, it's fine. We learned from our mistakes. So what do you guys want to see for next month's journey? Um, keep in mind, if we're gonna do an Animal Crossing event, it has to be, like, some type of challenge. I don't want it to be decorating related. I think it's kind of cringe. <laughs> Has Peter visited the, the island? No. I mean, what, what have I been accused of? I've done nothing. I've literally done nothing. To my villagers or the animals. 
I think what we can do for next month. Yeah, nobody got the gamer chair. Yeah, I felt bad. Cause like I know half the fun is actually like competing and getting to play with you guys, but it still sucks that people didn't get to keep their prizes. Like I was genuinely bummed out. But you know, it's not. This is why. Oh, bye, Kirby. I'll see you next time, hun. I appreciate coming and hanging out this for a little bit today. Um, thank you, hun. I was gonna say. That's why I don't think I ever want to do a tournament where we do cash prizes or like gift cards until I get to a point where I can afford to overcompensate for that. The learning lesson for next time. Yep. Now I know what to do for next time. Don't leave shit laying on the ground. <laughs> um, cause like server issues is whatever, but we need to avoid snipers. But, I don't think we need to talk about it anymore because we don't want to give the sniper's attention. Okay, let's see. What should I start off first? I don't- I think I'll redecorate offline. I need to harvest my trees. Oh, anyway. Um, what was I gonna say? I think next month we can do like a obstacle course. And then we can see who can get through it first. Or like a maze. But... Okay, okay, if we do a maze, I think what I'll need to do is I'll need to make four different mazes. That way, like, four people could race at the same time. And then they have to retrieve a specific item. And then... Whoever brings me that item first wins. I think that's what we can do. You missed stream. Uh, somebody just came in and, like, fucked around. But it happens. That's what happens when you have an open lobby, so... Or you can watch the VOD! I think the biggest thing- that, This is what I said on Sunday as well. Whenever we- We, pe we didn't know who it was, so we can't piece out too much them. But if there's any time there's like weird chatters, or like if there's a stream sniper, just ignore them. Don't give them more attention in the moment. I think it's fine to talk about it after. Because we can assume that they're probably not here. Because- I can see the user list, so I can see who's in my chat room right now. Controversial, but I keep my viewer list open. Because I like to see who's who comes in and then who leaves. I think it's interesting. Like, whenever I go on like a somewhat political rant, some people leave. <laughs> I think it's fucking funny. Um, you still have a lot of fun? Thank you, Mac. I'm glad you had fun. Uh, anyway. Like I said, I think it's fine to talk about it after the moment. Dude, <laughs> uh, I, I'm editing clips for my TikTok, the Animal Crossing VODs, I'm at April, and I literally talked about how I disabled follow alerts for if I ever get a, like, a follow bot raid. And I got a, I got follow bot like three weeks ago at this point, and I, I said it before, but I literally had no idea I got follow botted, like, 400 followers because I have all alerts turned off. <laughs> Because I checked after stream and I was like, whoa, I gained 400 followers to stream, huh? It's because I turned them off in my chat room and on screen for that reason. And imagine having safety measures in place to where you don't give those raiders attention and it works. Imagine. Who knew? Like, there's a reason why I don't think people, when they follow during a live, because, like I said, we don't know if they're, they're kind of scary. But... Yeah. Yeah, bot raiders are kind of cringe. Like, you literally wasted $5 when you could have hashtag sub for free of crime. I don't know, kind of cringe. Because the thing with follow bot raids is that me, the streamer, I can't necessarily get banned if it's different if I purchase the bots, because then I can get banned. But if somebody bots for me, then I don't get in trouble. And, like, I've told myself, if I ever do get bot followed again, obviously, I wouldn't tell you guys during the live. Um. But I always delete the followers after. No, De Deacon, don't joke about saying you did it. Don't joke like that. Well, what if we have a Twitch staff in here and they ban you? <gasps> Gasp. 
Yeah, those people are cringe. You know what's kind of scary? That I, I think about all the time? Um, whenever you're getting close to being eligible for partner, like, Twitch staff will lurk in your stream to, like, see how the stream is and see how your chat acts. And I'm, like, scared of that. <laughs> I mean, not saying that I'm bad or that chat is bad, but, it, like, it adds this weird kind of pressure. That's crazy, yeah. Like, and you have no idea that they're there. That's why I tell you guys, you better fucking behave. <laughs> like, because your chat room is a direct reflection of you as a creator, too. <laughs> Me and Mac would get your partnership revoked. Well, in order to be eligible for a partner, you have to actually stream, so I'm out. We're all good here. <laughs> Twitch now. No, you guys are good chatters. You guys are good. Nobody's fucking weird. Um... I think the main thing I assume that they look out for is that they just make sure your chatters aren't, like, sexist or, like, hateful to a capacity. Because some Twitch chats are kind of wild. Yeah, Twitch stuff, you guys are looking kind of cute today, huh? <laughs> Dude, imagine somebody's actually here. That'd be crazy. <laughs> imagine. No, like... I feel like... I don't think Twitch staff usually looks at smaller streamers. I think they do pop in occasionally because, you know, there's- I, I assume there's workers who are, like, paid to moderate to make sure people aren't doing bad things. <laughs> we love Twitch and we love to subscribe, Twitch staff. <laughs> You know what kind of sucks? Like, if you work for Twitch, you technically can't stream. Big Sag. Because I think one of my long-term goals for Twitch is not necessarily partner, but I want to be a Twitch... Um... What is it called? Ambassador. That's what it's called. Like, the people who are, like, on the Twitch Twitter or, like, on the front page, like, representing Twitch, I think it's so fucking cool. I mean, the content is kind of cringe and, like, super, like, PG and, like, PC, but... I think that'd be cool. <laughs> what? Moderators, keep an eye on Deacon. When the Twitch staff arrive, just time Deacon out for like a day and then we're, then we're safe. <laughs> I mean, I think we're pretty safe because we do have follower chat on, so it's not like we're going to get fucking weirdos in here. I mean, I hope not. I think one of the saddest things you'll hear stories of or you'll see is like long-term chatters like becoming really, like really fucking weird. Either they become like um like super obsessive over their streamer or they just like act weird in the chat. Like chatters, don't be weird. That's why I try to like rein you guys in now if we ever get to that point, like we don't want you guys to evolve into bad chatters. Yeah, exactly. If you fall and wait 10 minutes, that is cringe. Like, you're wasting 10 minutes of your day to shit on me. <laughs> That's why it's on 10 minute mode. Because if somebody wants to shit on me, you can follow first. Keep the stream open for 10 minutes. That way I can maybe get some ad revenue. We never use YouTube, only Twitch here. Yeah, any YouTube frogs? Oh, wait. We'd be amazing chatters. I mean, I wouldn't know when they're in chat, though. So you just have to be cool all the time, okay? You can't be weird. You gotta be good chatters all the time. <laughs> they can't even get me- Yeah, exactly. Hey, watchers, you'll get meg bucks. Exactly. <laughs> if you subscribe for- If you hashtag subscribe for free with Prime, you'll get a multiplier in your channel points, guys. YouTube! You not watch it on the telly? Dude, I I have no idea how to do a British accent. Like, I literally have no idea. <clears throat> I'm sub with Prime. Yes, we love our primers. Any primers in chat? Mod check?
Who has my prime? I think Connor Eats Pants still has my prime sub. <laughs> Ain't the way I'm treated here. But yeah, you better have that JK. Oh yeah, you're another primer. Controversial, but I know some streamers will say they don't like when people sub with prime. Hashtag sub for free with prime. But I like the primers. Because yes, it's not necessarily a guaranteed resub every month. But if it's gonna save the viewers money, why not? Like, reoccurring subscriptions are cool and all, but... I think if I get somebody's prime sub, then I'm lucky. They chose me. Why don't they like it? It's because it's not a guaranteed resub. Because if you subscribe regularly at, like, tier 1, then it automatically charges your card every month. But with a prime sub, you, the viewer, have to manually resubscribe and, like, open the channel and click resubscribe. So you're more likely to lose that subscription every month. So. But I don't care. Like, a sub is a sub. It's basically the same... Like, cut I get, so... I don't mind. Sub is a sub. Yeah, Mac, you resubbed with Prime for four months in a row. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I love how Lemon is still just shilling for Twitch. <laughs> no, Deacon, don't snitch. Don't snitch. Why are you snitching? I think you're on your third. No snitching. I think the longest Twitch subscription I have is to Hassan. I think I just hit 10 or 11 months this month. And then the second is Connor Eats Pants. And I think I've been subbed to Connor for 10 months. The chair, yeah, the Pikachu fell off earlier. Like, the one time it actually got ratioed. I have to retape it. <laughs> YouTube, more like YouTube. Or you poop. I mean, guys, would you be mad if I got, like, a multi-million dollar deal to go to YouTube? Would you be mad? Slash, um, SRS. Would you be mad? But dude, imagine how clouded I'd have to be to get that type of deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I gotta get that bag. No, no, no. I'm not the one slandering YouTube. I think the chat room is. It's not me. I can love YouTube. And Twitch. But I love more than the other depending on who gives me a contract in like 10 years. Yeah, I use YouTube all the time. But I've noticed ever since like... We talked about this content earlier, but like when you subscribe to somebody, you're more inclined to watch their content. Because one, you get like the ad- or not the ads. You get ad for viewing and then you get like the emotes and stuff. So then... You feel like you're obligated to spend time in that chat room while you're subscribed for a month. Like, I definitely have noticed that effect. Like, ever since I've started, like, regularly subscribing to channels I watch on Twitch, like, I watch their streams more. I actually stay on the Twitch website a lot more. So, I don't use YouTube as much. And, like, most of the YouTube content I watch is, like, stream highlights that are, like, edited down videos. I don't watch a lot of, like, YouTube creators anymore. I still think YouTube has, like, the best quality content in terms of, like, production. But I think Twitch, the type of content here, it's, like, it's nice content to, like, pass the time. Like, it feels like you're hanging out with a friend, and that's why I love it so much. Like, I could just have a stream on for, like, two hours as background noise, and it feels like I'm kind of with them, you know what I mean? Like, not parasocially, of course, but... It's very reminiscent of, like, your grandma leaving the TV on all day. It's kind of like that. Do I think the staff is still here? No, I don't think they were ever here. That'd be crazy if they're watching me a whole megalol. Who is very far from partner. <laughs> I 
think another thing that people fail to realize when you're pushing for partner, they look at your other social media accounts too. Like, they look at your following on like Twitter, YouTube, and like TikTok, I think. Like, those are the main stuff they look at. I know Twitter for sure, but... I have like, very little followers on Twitter, so chatters, you should go hashtag... <laughs> follow my Twitter, <laughs> hashtag follow my Twitter. <laughs> Maybe she is the Twitch worker? No! Guys, I said earlier, if you're a Twitch staff, you're not allowed to stream. It was this intense? What do you mean? Huh? I mean, cause like, in the grand scheme of things, getting Twitch partner, quote unquote, is not difficult. Like, for some people, it's very easy to gain an influence and like, keep your numbers up and stuff. But, I think the biggest determining factor is time. Like, my goal... ...is to get partner in three years. Like, I've already hit one of my, um... <laughs> Delete the <laughs> anti-tweet before they look. <laughs> no, I think they just look at, like, your, your following count. <laughs> I don't think they actually, like, comb through your feed. Cause, like, if they actually look at your Twitter, they would've, like, clapped Ninja a while ago, okay? Um... Because, like, anyway, if you have a pre-existing following on, like, other social media or other platforms, like, it's a lot easier to be eligible for partner. Um, but if you're starting up from scratch, it's very difficult, too. That's why, like, I told myself my goal is three years. Um, two years would be great. Right now with the one-year mark. But one of my shorter-term goals was my goal for the summer, so by July, was to be eligible for my Twitch payout every month. And for clear transparency, I cannot see the exact number amount, but I've been able to cash out my Twitch payout every month since April. Which is great! I'm really appreciative that I'm... Like... That the people who watch me are generous enough to help support me in that way, like, every month. Like I said, I can't see the exact number, but that's why I have my sub count on stream, that's why we have the leaderboard as well. Your goal is to have a birthday here? Like, what do you mean? Oh, like after your birthday party. Okay. I spent my birthday on stream with you guys. Because I haven't had a birthday party in years. Okay, let's see what we got. We got two purple tulips, finally! My god, and then a purple pansy. That's great. You've already had a birthday here? Really? Damn, you should've told me! Damn! <laughs> I mean, that's nice that you have family come over for birthdays. All of my family lives out of state, so... The only time we have, like, family get-togethers is during a funeral. So... It's awkward. Your goal is a year full of prime? I think that's a great goal. You know, a guaranteed sub for a year? That's got a great. That's cool. I love that goal. You better keep that goal, though. <laughs> yeah, so, like I said, one of my short-term goals was to be eligible for that Twitch payout every month. And I'm tra I'm on track to hit that. Because I know I myself, I do give chat a good handful of subs every month, but there are still a select individuals who do help either gift or donate to the channel every month. And it helps a lot, so thank you. Your goal is VIP. I mean, maybe one day, copium one day. Should I lower the channel point rewards? Let's see, what would be enough for me to lower them. Like, what, it, what is chat gonna do for me if I lower the channel point cost? Your birthday's in December? Oh wow, that's a good time away. What's September 1st? Oh, you're right, the um, portrait card. <gasps> Thank you, Mac! I appreciate that gifted sub. Thank you! You're gonna get your name written at the end of stream, so thank you, Mac. Oopsie. I almost put the wrong command. Thank you, Mac. Is Mac your new favorite now, Lemon? 
Yep, Mac is my new favorite. Cool. Let's see. Is Mac still at the top? Yep, there you are. You're still number one, baby. No, seriously, look how far ahead Mac is. They're like double the number two gifter. Kind of crazy. Anybody want to beat Mac right now? <laughs> Anybody want to usurp Mac from their number one spot? Oilers? Ooh, a pair of wardrobe. Sounds kind of ugly, but kind of cute. I'll never be touched. I mean, I don't know. There might be some secret oilers. I would allow it because it helps stream and I like stream. True. True. Did you hear? They're adding subscriptions to TikTok Live now. Isn't that kind of cool? I mean, you're only eligible if you actually stream on TikTok, <laughs> which I don't. So, and I don't know what the CPM is over there either. But TikTok live chat kind of dead, kind of dumb. TikTok live has been big in the UK, really? I mean, it's big here in the States, too, but it's just not my type of content, honestly. It's full of people begging for gifts. I mean... Why not show when you can show, right? <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not... I don't think that type of stream is enjoyable to watch for the most part, but... My opinion on stuff is... If you can get the bag, get the bag, you know? No shame in shilling. As long as you're not doing it with malicious intent. And I feel like if it's additive to the content, I feel like it's fine. Like, that's why for... That's why sometimes I'll do, like, the incentive streams. Um, what do you call it? Like, you know, the Fall Guys, to where if you sub, cheer, I'll respawn. And that's also why we have the long-term sub goal streams. That way we're kind of working towards something. Because, like, I feel in my head, I understand that Twitch is free content, but... I think it's nice to offer something extra to the people who just subscribe or gift or donate. That's why we do calligraphy. That's why we have the um, bonus sub goal streams. And that's why we have the portrait cards. Dude, I think Deacon's gotten automated like five times today. They're popping off. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> Sorry. I know you're clowning on that one guy's take we talked about last week, but people legitimately have that take to where, like, if you have time to watch Twitch, you have time to get a job and subscribe to me for five dollars. But it's like, no. It's like, bitch, are you subscribed to every single stream you watch? Probably not. Because that'd be like hundreds of dollars. Some people are wild. Like, the reason why I'm very transparent about my takes now is that I don't want them to change. Because, like, I don't want to... If I ever did get to a point where I do get influence or I do make sustainable income, I don't want to change my perspectives. You know, I don't want to become this greedy streamer. I want to make sure I keep these core values. And the reason why I talk about them now is that I can be held accountable to some capacity later on. That's how you should be? I'd get a second job? No, I can't show that hard, okay? That's bad. Because there are people like me who physically can't work, so I, I can't be shitting on them. Ooh, but dude, if I drive, then I can do like DoorDash and shit, I think, hopefully, if I can handle the stress. Yeah, TikTok in general is always glitchy. Like, there's always something new every day. I think it's because I have, like, the beta version. Because in the settings, you can enable, like, having um, beta updates 
available to you, so that, you, that way you can like test out new stuff. So like, I was like one of the first few accounts to get um, the TikTok stories, and then like the UI is always slightly different every day it seems, but it's not that bad. Gonna lurk? Okay, no problem, Mac. We'll be here. Unless I end stream right now. <laughs> Imagine. Max is just crying. Okay, so... I think... I know today we're basically, like, catching up on that. We're watering, we're chopping trees. But I think what I need to focus on is... Oh, wait, let me look at the map. Because, like, see the upper areas? I think I either want to put my crops or my trees in the upper areas and only have the lower levels be, like, infrastructure, so, like, houses and roads and stuff. So, I think that's what we're going to try and focus on for this week. So, I think we'll start that tomorrow. Because I have all those flowers on those upper levels. I need to get rid of them. Nah, I don't think it ever ends stream early. Like, <laughs> um, I jokingly was gonna make a scene where it's just like the F screen, like, you know, the screen where it has the, not like this, and then the kind of blue purple chrome. I was gonna make a scene of just that image so that way it kind of looks like I F'd, right? But then I was like, I don't want people to legitimately think I'm effing. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna do that. Your whole island is flowers? Yeah, because I heckin' love flowers. I know, because this is my second time, like, starting an island. I will always overpopulate flowers, so that way I can just see if they'll crossbreed faster. I think it's more efficient than, like, having, like, a teeny tiny garden. Because I think the only other flowers I need now are... I need more black cosmos. And then I need more green mums. A handful more of the green- or the purple flowers. Oh, I need blue and purple wind flowers. I still have yet to grow them. So that's why I always have way too many flowers. Because I can always dig them up later, you know? Have I gotten a blue rose yet? Oh, no, I haven't. You're right. I haven't gotten blue roses yet. Fuck. Yeah, I only have one purple rose. And she's struggling. But isn't this gonna be so cute? Like the rainbow back there? Ain't that cute? Because the plan is... I'm gonna put like a gazebo here. And then maybe like a rock garden. And then... Here... I'm either gonna keep crops... Or move them up a level. Hmm. Okay, what to do now? Dude, I've been slouching so much today. It's bad. It's because it's so hot. And I still have to go for my bike ride today. I'm already sweating my ass off right now. See, it's 140. I think we have time to do like an abandoned island trip because I need to gather resources because there's a whole bunch. Oh, wait, we need to see if anything close. I also just realized I didn't change my fit from Sunday. This is <laughs> this is my fishing fit. <laughs> what was I gonna say? I forgot. Um, hmm, peace. I too, hmm. It's almost 10 p.m. Yeah, it's it's almost 2 p.m. for me here. But we need slides. Because we Gucci. Alright, 
I'm like ready to fall asleep. <laughs> I feel bad because like whenever my schedule gets messed up, because like I'm changing my daily schedule to where like because like I've noticed on days where I bike in the morning, I'm extremely tired the rest of the day. And then when I bike at nighttime or evening, I can't go to sleep. So like I've started biking at like midday. And it's hard to get used to it. But you know it's fine, I gotta do what's best for my body, so Captain Dude, I wanna do another Aurora hunting stream. But I don't think anybody's gonna leave anytime soon. After 7, you have to fight to stay awake? Then go to sleep! You don't gotta watch the stream, go to sleep! And if you don't watch the stream, we can just talk shit about you the whole time. <laughs> Got him. I can clap! You know what one of my favorite new emotes is? I got gifted a sub to Extra Emily. Where is it? It's called XM Clap, I think. Yeah, XM Clap. And it's just her clapping. I want one of those. It's so good. And like the loop is perfect too. I have one more regular emote slot. I I wish I had more animated slots. That's why we're going with the third party 7 TV emotes from now on. Oh, it's nighttime? What the fuck? Whoa, what the fuck? Huh? Yeah. I've never had that happen. Ah. Nah, don't say that, Deacon. Don't say <gasps> What? I've never seen this. What is this? No way. Oh my god. I always grind for shooting stars. Like, I stay up every night. And whenever I do get shooting stars, I always fall asleep and I can never get enough, like, shooting stars. So I have, like, no fragments. Oh my god. This is amazing. What if Aurora's here? Dude, that'd be a dream come true. I've never seen a star island. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, look at all these shards. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. I'm so happy. This This has made my day. Nothing can stop me now. I'm begging she's here. No. On these islands, you don't get a villager. Like, ever, I don't think. Unless you have an open slot, which we don't have an open slot, Big Sag. Okay, I want to see if I can bust that rock open. Do you think the star pieces are sharp? Maybe. I mean, they look so soft and chewy. You know what they look like? They look like the candies from the Hamtaro, like, anime. Because I remember she would- Or Hamtaro would see his owner, like, eat these star-shaped sugar candies, and he would want them all the time. It looks just like those candies. Bite one and see? Let's see, can I eat them? That's not an option, so I guess not. <laughs> like we both went to eating one. Yeah, the most degen chatters, of course you'd want to eat the freaking star shards. You know, it's 
I was debating if I even wanted to do a deserted island, but I'm glad I did. Yeah, I know I know those candies are real. I've seen them at the store. I bought them before. I actually bought some of those candies in Japan. But they're alright. They kind of tasted it could have been like a different brand. But you know those um lollipops that it just looks like like a stick of sugar crystals? It's like that. So it's just pure sugar. I feel like everybody swallows a coin at some point. You know, it's part of the fun of being a kid. You're basically invincible. Aren't your bones softer when you're younger, too? Like, aren't they more malleable? That's why, like, when a kid falls off their bike, they don't, like, die. Like an old person would. <laughs> Can you take the bushes? I could, but I don't want hedges on my island right now. Well, let's see if we can get more star pieces. <gasps> oh, look at that. They look so delicious. Now that you guys have brought it up, they, look, they do look kind of good. They do look quite delectable. I guess I can't go that way. Well, the butterflies are here too. They usually don't spawn at nighttime, right? This island gives me fairy vibes. Anybody else? Just me? Maybe there'll be a rare fish too? Nope, not rare. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, furry's a blocked term. Get, get fucked. Because, like, if somebody's talking about furries, they're obviously weird. That's why it's a blocked term now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share my block terms. <laughs> That'd be dumb. That'd be DOM. <laughs> 30k points for a block terms reveal. 30k is not nearly enough. Because if I share what my block terms are, you guys are gonna find ways to intentionally not say the word. I'm not dumb. I'm not D-U-M. <laughs> I know how you chatters think. I myself am a chatter. Why would I give you more tools to fuck with me? That's another reason why I don't have sound alerts or like really spammy channel redemptions. Because, like, if I ever do get, like, a hate raid, or, like, a normal raid, I've seen clips of people get, like, if they're averaging, let's say, 100 people, and then they get, like, a few thousand person raid, and people just spam the alerts, it's fucking annoying as shit. 
and it causes like processor issues on your stream too so it can crash your stream and it's like i don't want to deal with that shit but like the way i kind of see things is the way i have stream now is i don't want to take things away if we ever do get bigger that's why i don't have like sound alerts or anything Is dumb a bad word? No. Because dumb... It'd be very difficult to use dumb in a bad context. Like, you could be like, you're dumb! And that'd obviously be a bad term. <laughs> because Twitch mod is here. Oh, look at that sunset! That's so pretty. That's generally so pretty. It's not often you see a green sky. Because, like, the way the Autobot works is that you can have bad block words, and then there you can also block phrases, and then it also, like, analyzes your message for context. So, like, you said, you can say dumb, but you can't say you're dumb. Or, like, that is dumb. Yeah, what a great Animal Crossing day. Yeah, it's great. I, I literally have never seen a Star Island, and that was actually pretty cool. I'm glad I have more star pieces now, or star pieces, rather. Is the sunrise? Oh, did I say sunset? I meant to say sunrise. I'm tired, okay? You know, I took a day off. And I need to get back in the swing of things, okay? <laughs> he said to smile. <laughs> okay, so... I think we go, go ahead and switch gears here because chatters... Chatters. You know what time it is. It's time for me to run a few minutes of ads because we are nearly three hours in the stream. Oh my god, time flew by today. So, you can avoid the ad break by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad for viewing all month long. Or if you're lucky, you can get it gifted. Or, you can hashtag sub for free the Prime by linking your Amazon to your Twitch account. Guys, it's easy. Check. Click the subscribe button. See if you have a Prime sub available. Do it now. <laughs> Okay, the meal platters from Sunday stream. So chatters, get some water, get a snack if you need it. After the ad, we're gonna do you laugh, you lose, and then thanking subs, calligraphy. So stick around. I <laughs> get fucked. Get that ad break. <laughs> what kind of beach site service? Stop it. Stop. I know what you're trying to do. You've never won a you laugh, you lose. I win every single one. You're just a pleb who needs to get good. Dude, I am so annoyed. Once again, thank you, Lemon, earlier for pointing out that we had Animal Crossing music playing in the background. I genuinely don't know what fucking tab was open. But thank you for calling out. I'll have to watch the VOD later and see what happened. It's okay, yeah. That's why I always say, like, if anything is off, either first refresh your tab or refresh your, like, close and reopen the stream. And if the issue still persists, like, tell me in chat. Because I've been noticing on Twitch Android Mobile, there's issues to where, like, the audio will desync and lag. I like to do a refresh. But like I said, if there's ever an issue with stream, all you gotta do is. And if the issue persists, just tell me in chat. Which worker did you see this? See what? Uh, let's see. Right now I'm changing my title, so chatters. Sit tight. Thank you. I like this shirt too. This used to be my mom's, but then I stole it. <laughs> Easy. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, hold. Why does it have the sidebar? <gasps> oh, I think that could have been the issue earlier. Because that sidebar is new. Maybe it was playing audio. Huh. Okay, saved. Koi fish are expensive. 
so kind of not worth. Okay. Chatters, you know the rules. If I laugh, I am stream. If chat laughs, type one in chat and tell me what made you laugh. I'm going to win. win to Stream Nightmare. Really? If you have any preferred nicknames or opponents, make sure to tell us. What is he doing? My god. Yeah, no. So I was looking this way and it all said T T T T. Now I look this way and it says. Oh. <laughs> I love these videos. I would never do that shit, Iroh, though. It's, you look like a fucking idiot. No. 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 Oh, they're losers. I, I did just thought they were, like, rats. More like, well, don't. Collective screens. Fire danger high. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's got buck teeth. <laughs> Oh no. I thought it was gonna like launch. It's like three, two, one, lift up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it squeaks too. Um, no, it's me and my kids. It's all right, mate. You can't park there, sir. I know I Sir, two Italian beef and beans. Would you like mayonnaise or ketchup or anything like that? No? Okay, no problem. Yes, just give me a shout for you then. Okay, bye. Oh. Hey, yo! Shark, you hungry? <laughs> huh?
Uh, the reason why some videos are blurred is because um, a lot of this channel's videos were uploaded and then re-uploaded because YouTube's terms of service have changed over the years to where you can't show, like, kids getting hurt or, like, smoking in some contexts. So some videos are blurred. It's not me. It's the uploader. It's on his head. That wasn't a laugh. Damn. Bro, what is he doing? Making a DVD? A disc? The fuck? Huh? Okay, actual dumbass move. It's a rabbit! I thought it was a bunny. I can't, I can't. Okay, that was good. Anybody laugh? Anybody I got? There was a lot of... Like, animals dancing. That was funny. Okay. So, Chaz, I think... We can switch gears to thanking subs. Let me get some music for you guys. And thank you for redeeming Nightmare. You redeemed that just in time because no. at the end of stream or at the end of stream, we have a calligraphy journal where we write all our subs and cheers names. And then also people can use their channel points for free. Let me get some music. It was a rabbit. I thought it was a bunny. Wait, I, is that what I said? Dude, I'm D.O.M. <laughs> Hi, Mac. Welcome back. You came just in time for calligraphy, hun. Sorry, that was right into the mic. Sorry. Oh, I just realized I didn't put on my second light today. Fuck. I mean, frick. I'm gonna say cat. English is my first language, guys. If you couldn't tell. Okay, hey, hold. Meg phone streamer, hold. Hold. Meg phone streamer. Okay. Change my wallpaper? Okay. We can do that real quick. New wallpaper for the new segment? Okay. You know what I also forgot to do for Sunday? I forgot to freaking change to the Meg Esports wallpaper that I specifically made for event streams. And I totally blanked. What is the song? Your mom. <laughs> Stupid, I'm sorry. Um, this one is the legendary Starfy. I don't know what the fuck that is. Cherries? Okay. Is the cherries your favorite one, I guess, Deacon? You always request the cherries one. So, Chatters, if you don't know, I painted this background back here. 
This all hand painted wallpaper is going to see a thread of all the previous wallpapers I've painted. I've linked it in chat. Did I change the title? I'm going to! Thank you for the reminder, Lama. I totally didn't forget. But thank you. Let's actually change the title now. Sorry, I couldn't spell tip for a second. <laughs> Lemon running for mod? No. We're- this is no Democrat elections for moderation. I get to select them. Moderation is like my cabinet. I choose who they are, and nobody can find me on them. We're not gonna be doing primaries for East and 17 moderators. I'm also not looking for mods right now because I don't have the means to compensate them yet, so big sag. Okay, let's get started. Since we had Cleaning Nightmare Redeem, we'll go ahead and do their name first since they're new to stream. Um, if you're still in chat, Nightmare, can I ask how you find my channel? You know, gotta get some user data. Like, did you find my stream on Twitch? Did you find it on another platform? Okay. And I think you redeemed a red. So, chatters, you can either sub to your gift or donate to have me write your name or use your channel points. I will write it for free. Hear that? F R E E, free. No, De Deacon, we're not gonna be spreading false accus accusations. No, no. No, no. Remember, we're nice to new chatters. Okay, we also said Vic and then Mac. Well, why, why are you talking about green? They did say green. Yeah, I have it here. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Huh? Oh, did I say red? Guys, my brain's broken. You all, you all know that. <laughs> okay, we got Clean Nightmare. Redeem with our channel points. Once again, thank you for redeeming, hon. Okay, so like I said, you can use your channel points or subscribe. Hashtag sub for free with Perron and I'll write your name. Okay, we're moving on to the sub journal. No, it's okay, Cox. You know, life happens. VOD will be up. Oh shit, I dropped a pen. Hold. Hold. I gotta get off my chair. 
Of course I had to like land in the furthest place away from the chair. Guys, I'm old. I have dust all over my shorts now. Whew. The leaderboard's not on screen, huh? There you go. Good night. Okay. We'll see you next time, Deacon. I appreciate you hanging out with us today. Orange peach. Okay. Thank you for redeeming lemon. Don't go chatting about me. No guarantees. No guarantees. This emerald green is so pretty. Not emerald, it's evergreen. Okay. Bye, Deacon. Seek really compliments when they're gone. I mean, they'll never know. That's why you gotta keep the tab open, right? <laughs> I'm joking. Unless. Okay, so we had Vic with a gifted sub to the chat room once again. Thank you, Vic. I appreciate it, hon. It's so crazy to me that we have people who donate to stream. Like, you're choosing to spend your money on me, which I genuinely appreciate. I know we were goofing and gaffing earlier, but I genuinely appreciate anybody who does help support the stream. So we had Vic. Next page. Oh, we have lemon as well. So chatter. So if you want a rich name, you can use your channel points or donate to the channel. Exclamation tip in chat. Okay, next we had Mac with a gifted tier one to chat. Maintaining their number one spot on the gifted leaderboard. Let's go. Anybody wanna beat Mac right now? Any Oilers? Machek? Okay, there we go. We had Dot Mac with one gifted to the charm. Thank you once again, Mac. Okay. So the previous page will be posted on Twitter later today. Unless I forget, as usual. Next, we have Lemon Redeem with their channel points with an orangey pink. Let's just go ahead and do their name. So Chatter is going to be the last name for today. So if you want me to write your name, last chance, use your channel points. Or you can donate to the channel. I think the closest we're gonna get to an orange peach is this very faint pink. 
but it's got like a yellow undertone to it. Also, chat is where we're waiting. If you could politely subscribe to my YouTube Clips channel and then possibly my main channel, because if we're able to hit a thousand subs on my Clips channel, then I might be eligible for monetization. So all you gotta do is free, subscribe, click the link. Help me out. Because I don't have monetization on TikTok yet. And I will be uploading my singing clips to the YouTube Clips channel. So chatters, go watch it. Leave a like, go subscribe. Okay, we have ice, lemon, vanilla. Okay, chatters, last call. Last call. Anybody else want to redeem? Or you can donate to the channel. Last call, chatters. Last call. Also, no raid today, big Sag. Nobody's alive. Last call, chatters. Let's go, let's go. Ten. Nine. <laughs> Okay, we're done. It's done. It's over. Okay, so thank you to everybody who came and streamed. Any chatters lurkers? Also, thank you to anybody who donated today. We had Vic and Mac gift to the chat room today, so thank you guys. Um, I was gonna say, okay, yeah, no raid today because nobody's live. Big Sedge, but I will be live again tomorrow, same time at 11 a.m. PST. We're doing Fall Guys with donation incentives, also. We are still gonna do the bonus stream. Oh yeah, we can get a better POV on the nails now. Look at that. It's got the glitter topper and then green French tips, you know, for Meg Esports. Um, we are still doing the bonus Papa's Pizza restream on this Friday. So guys, if you are not following, make sure you're following the stream. Also, make sure you have go like notifications turned on that we get a ping when I go live. So chatters once again. I know we missed you yesterday, but thank you guys for showing up and watching today. I genuinely appreciate it. We will be live again tomorrow. Before I head out, if you could all pull out, kindly follow my offline social media accounts. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Like I said, if all of you chatters right now could go follow my YouTube Clips channel, that way we can have 1k subs. My goal is by the end of the year. So, once again, I had fun hanging out with everybody today, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Okay. Bye, guys.